It's time for another episode of Coffee, Donuts, and Fucked Up Shit. Your premier podcast for insensitive material for sensitive ears. Please rate and review us on your podcast app. Enjoy. Uh, another weird Eric and I were listening. Got me, la, bop, bop. We were listening to my to Red Hot Chili Peppers yesterday because oh. I really like Soul. Oh, Squeeze. you act like this is like oh, we were just randomly li- like yeah. <laughs> I, I will. I don't really like admitting that I was listening to it for some reason. Like admit, yeah. but I really like Soul to Squeeze. And at the end, he's like, "It's been a baby and it's been a And I was like, "You know, be great. What if there was a scat off between Steven Tyler?" From Aerosmith, yeah, and Anthony Kiedis, and Anthony yeah. Kiedis, and you'd be like, and then Jonathan Davis just comes in, like, <laughs> <laughs> and then David Lee Roth comes in, and oh he's like, God. we gotta make a YouTube video where it's just like all of those fuckers just <laughs> like over each other, yeah, yeah, it starts with him going boom, and then you just layer in Kiedis like. And then just fucking, And then Steven Tyler's yeah. uh, uh, like Oh god. I just had an aneurysm thinking about listening to that. I think David Lee Ross takes the cake, man. I think he could get the And then shoots fireworks out of his dick. Out of his car. Just confetti. And fireworks. Oh! I, know, I, I I've started listening to Para Ubu now. Mm, yeah. Apparently. Yes. Yeah. A, a para, a para, uh, para ubus. Hey. Well, I was listening to Husker Du for it a minute. Husker Du. And then I and then I was like, no. How about Para Ubu? And then I was like, if you had to choose between the two, would you rather have Para Ubu? Or who's Kadoo? Who's Kadoo? And Eric's Ubu? like, what did you say? Who's Kadoo Boo? Who's Kadoo Boo? And now we're like, who's Kadoo Boo to you? Well, who's Kadoo Boo to you? Honey, kind who's sir. Who's Kadoo Boo? And who's Kadoo Boo to you too? Who's Kadoo Boo? Really, no gibberish at the table. <laughs> I wish I had who's could do boo for the speaking in tongues. Who's could do boo? Oh, for the yeah. <laughs> who's who's could do boo? Yeah! <laughs> it's the 25th anniversary of Billy Madison. Holy Yay! shit, that makes me feel so old. Uh, I, I, I truly, truly, truly love that movie. That's one of my it favorite movies. Fantastic. I can oh. quote that movie all day. Oh, yeah. All fucking Give me day. your top five Billy Madison quotes. Because I was thinking the other day, I was like, there's like, oh, man. There's like 104 oh. quotes from that movie that I can oh. just pull out at a whim. I like, use them constantly in my life. Yeah. Eric and I like both speak Billy Madison. It's a daily. It's just. It's part of our vocabulary. Infiltrated into our brains, into our vocabulary. Yeah. Yeah. But I gotta say, uh, whoa, 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 Miss Lippy. The part about this story I don't like is that the little boy gave up looking for Happy after an hour. I mean, he didn't put up posters or anything. He just sat on the porch like a goon and waited. That kid's gotta think. You got a pet. You got a responsibility. You don't just look for an hour and call it quits. You get your ass out there and you find that fucking dog. Mm-hmm. You killed yeah. it. Yeah. Wow. That what was... about you, Sideburns? You want some of this? You want some of this milk? Rather have a beer. <laughs> that um, Veronica Vaughn is one piece <laughs> of ace. I may you know get kicked off this podcast. Yeah, don't like, st- you, don't tell us you've never seen Billy Madison. You've never Who seen would Billy eat Madison? thirty <laughs> bag lunches? <laughs> really? That damn Sasquatch! Really? That's you've who... never seen Billy Madison? <laughs> What's the, oh I don't God. know. I think like when I what was the... younger. Oh, I don't... you would know. I don't yeah, know. You know because you don't just watch Billy Madison once. You watch it every okay, day for that'll a be my year. homework tomorrow. <laughs> Billy. That's, that's cool, cool dude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Billy and his girlfriend are playing water polo or something. Yeah, I think Marco. they're playing Marco Polo. <laughs> Marco Polo! Oh, oh, that was a great okay. game. Most people just float through life like lumps of crap. <laughs> what is she talking about? What is she talking, talking about? about? <laughs> what is she talking about? Oh, I can, we do this all day. Hey, yeah. 
kids, it's me. <laughs> I, I bet you thought that I was dead. But, but when I, I fell over, I just broke my leg and got a hemorrhage in my head. Okay. Yeah. There are obstacles in the world. And away. But together we will overcome. Overcome. Because you can't trade our spirit and you can't change our dreams. Do you have any more gum, more gum, more gum, more gum? Do you have any more gum? Yeah. Some, something like that. Oh, something like that. I don't need to watch the movie. You, y'all, no, you do. Yeah, you really, I will. So I know. I will. Felt I felt like I was like meditating there. Mm-hmm. I felt yeah. like yeah. totally at one. Like I felt like the energy rising in the room. Yeah. Like Man, the... you know what I love? I love when when he, when Norm Macdonald's spraying that kid in the face with the hose, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the kid's like, "Who no, are no, you, Mister? I don't, I don't even know, know you." <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh uh, God. Wow. So she and came too. too. <laughs> the mucus, the mucus queen. queen is yours. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Glad I called that guy. Uh, <laughs> it's infinite. It's got so many oh, good, so many good actors goes. in it. Yeah. It Steve never Buscemi, stops. Norm Macdonald, That's Billy Madison, Billy. Guy he's from in my the West class. Wing. I think he's <laughs> yeah. retarded or something. You know what's funny <laughs> is I quote Billy Madison in this packet. Uh, there's a line where yes! I, say, oh. I say, "I drew the duck blue." Because I the duck blue because, because I've never, never seen, seen a, a blue, blue duck. duck. <laughs> and to be honest with you, I just wanted to see one. Well, it's an excellent blue duck. God. You just passed the first grade. And they just come in. She's just that's qu- that's, that's quack fantastic. fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we gotta stop. Okay, we get. I, yeah. I don't want to. Listeners I can are just fast forwarding. We can just do the whole movie. Like, Should yeah, we start? Yeah, shampoo is better. <laughs> yeah, I go on first and clean the hair. Uh, yeah, we can just start with the the beginning because it goes. <laughs> <laughs> Smiley. <laughs> That's the first. Can you imagine just writing the screenplay like, Oh, the uh, sun tries to burn me, but you won't let it, will you? <laughs> so everybody treat yourself. Go home and rent Billy Madison. Seriously. Yes. And have a good years. chuckle. And then I can years. feel included. Jenna, you, you, we're, you know what? We're going to have movie night, and we're going to watch Billy Madison with We're going to catch you up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And catch you up. Yeah, catch Except it's going to take us five hours, because we're going to pause it every two minutes while yeah. we all mm-hmm. quote yeah. everything. We're winding it. Oh, God. Excellent. I look okay. forward. That was so much fun. How's everybody doing? Good. How are you? I love your shirt. Good. Your best shirt. Mm-hmm. I do. I have a fucking... The, Tell us the about your shirt. Bloody kid at Baker's Wait. Horrible <laughs> Wife commented on my shirt. Yeah, one of the, the but no, the nothing on the days. the big dog denim sh- coat you're wearing. Mm. Rocking the big dog denim. And yeah. <laughs> you stepped up your game, my friend. Yeah, I. I that shit is like a premium denim. It's mm. it's pretty good. Yeah, I like think it's good. Yeah. So like tell that. us about your shirt. Uh, my shirt is. Uh, Beavis and Butthead, but it's the cover of Goo, so <coughs> youth album. And I, I purchased this shirt in Barcelona. What? Nice. I was strolling the streets of Barcelona. <laughs> Did they sidewalk the artists draw it for you? And, uh, and we poof. drive the wrong way on the road. <laughs> and I look in window, I see shirt, I go, shirt, come to me. Oh, you shirt, manifested you that shirt now. right onto your body. You live on my body I now, shirt. I was like, gear, here's the money. And they were like, we don't accept American currency. You're in a foreign country. <laughs> so I just fucking grabbed it. So you ran. punched him oh, around. Smart, smart. smart. Okay. Punched yeah, and ran. Yeah. Punch Classic him. Clark. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. That's, That's what you should always element. do in an emergency. <laughs> <laughs> Run away. Uh, I, have a, I have a fun, um, so at, at where I work, um, which, <coughs> if you work at the generic family <coughs> pizza restaurant, pizza restaurant, restaurant. Mm-hmm. I work at the generic family Juicy Lucy restaurant. Okay. And okay. at the generic family Juicy, Juicy Lucy, Lucy Juicy Juice. Lucy. I like calling it Lucy Juice. <laughs> Lucy. <laughs> oh, careful. That Lucy Juice yeah. will burn your little Lucy. chin and mouth. You careful, Miss. Lucy Juice on your chin? <laughs> yeah, you were flying too close to the sun there. <laughs> <laughs> careful. Careful, little dog. Careful. Um... I, oh, there was one. There was one the where I, I, uh, um, some guy just like ate a Lucy, you know, and then it 
like squirts oh, on the table. As they Explodes. fucking do. And I like was kind of, and then like he did it, and then he like he like looked up at me, and I was like, Oh, did you get a little excited there? <laughs> you did not. I swear to God, nice. Evan. He did not Ooh. laugh. <laughs> I just got him some napkins and refilled his diet coke, but uh, it's just Lucy juice, man. <laughs> it's just Lucy juice. Don't make this weird, bro. <laughs> But at the awesome. generic Juicy Lucy restaurant I work at, I've slowly become to realize this is where, this is where people who are having affairs come to. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to work at a restaurant you, like that. You, 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 you've had those downtown, vibes before? The bar downtown that I worked at, yeah, you can always Wait, tell. You're like, so the people there are in, like, affairs They're in together. separate, yes. They're, they're married with other people, but uh-huh. they're having an affair and they meet. At the generic Juicy Loose. Because For a little of the old Cajun like, dry My partner yeah. will never come in here. And She's making me eat kale now. Yeah. No, yeah. I, there's three different like affair couples that I'm like 100% on mm. that they're having an affair together. Mm. And the most recent one is like a skit straight off of like coffee donut shit. Where it's like, <laughs> oh. it's like this girl is like early mid 20s. I know she has two kids. And uh, a lot of problems. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, and then this guy's like in his fifties, and he's and he like a little sugar daddy o- action. Yeah, some sh- total sugar mm-hmm. daddy action. Yeah. Wow. She comes in. She orders a Bombay lemonade, oh. and um, and the then he'll fuck? be like, and he'll I have know. a gin and time. Can I get nice gin with some, some sugar sh- water yeah. in it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Fuck off. Oh, like, Jesus. Hell yeah. And then I like vroom, 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 sh- lemonade <laughs> and gin. Cocktail that shit. Yep. Tom and Cruise. He always comes like. 10 minutes later, and he's always just like, God, you fucking, you know, traffic, or like, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. And then he's like, but then he'll just come up and be like, God damn it, you look sexy today. Ah! <laughs> you look and like, sexy. Yeah, as like, fuck. like, just says it out loud. Like, Ew. he has sure. horny Tourette's. Okay. And, like, <laughs> and, no, like, horny Tourette's, man. Like, this guy, like, <laughs> I'll be just like, you know, do it like, uh, they always sit like right fucking where I have to be. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, you know the part of the bar where I operate so the most. So you can see him getting a squeezer. Yeah. yeah. And, and like, Hell yeah. Squeeze, over the pants squeezer. Squeeze, squeeze. Oh. Um, no, he's not the only one splooging. It's also no, juicy. No, yeah, he's, there's Lucy juice everywhere. <laughs> I hope her name isn't Lucy. I um, hope his isn't. Yeah. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> and like, yeah, like, I'll just be like punching something in and I'll just feel like, God damn it, your ass looks tight today. Oh, <laughs> and and she'll just never said, like acknowledge what oh. he just said. She'll just go, <laughs> anyway, I'm going to need $300 because I can't afford it. My it's cell phone crazy. got shut off. Yeah, it's and always the new iPhone. Oh. Dude, it's just like it blows my mind. I'm so like, that's category one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Any other types of affairs? No, he said three couples that oh. he thinks are. Isn't that what it was? Yeah. Or are they three categories? Couple, of, three affair couples. Of, of What's a word for that? Like, mm. if you're, if you're in a relationship that's an affair, like, other than affair, is there a synonym? Oh. Uh, is it like... Whoring around? Illegal bang buddy? Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Um, mm. Non-committed committal um, committee? <laughs> that's going to be the new millennial, like, relationship status. Yeah. Or a non-committed <laughs> committal, committal, committal related. related. Mm. Um, this is yeah. a, a spectrumed relationship. Yeah. Hmm. Mm. I like that too. Yeah, it's just a lot of horny people that come into the restaurant I work at. I've realized. But like you're like bloated off a of cheese. And no, meat. See, I get that at the at, at the bar at the uh, family pizza restaurant too. Like a lot of like weird, like the weirdest is when people are in between bites of like pasta and pizza and shit, and they'll just turn and just start fucking making out like. Oh! Quick. <laughs> Like Lady in the Trail. It's like they're and switching what's in their mouths. Like, hey, yeah, can I take it's mouth? so quick, like, quick while the marinara is still marinating. Yeah, it's, <laughs> like you know, they got cheese they stuck in their teeth and food shit. Taste it's out just of like, my mouth. Oh, yeah. oh, why does food make people horny like that? I don't, I don't know. Coors Light and marinara sauce just oh, makes yeah. me want a bone. You want a bang, bang, bang. Woo! Oh, okay, but now I'm really thinking about that guy. Does he sound like that when they fuck too, or or do you think oh. it's yeah? Have you been a... there? Did you? So I followed them after they left. Well, yeah, I mean I'm curiosity. Curious. Sure, right. it's not stalking if you're curious. <laughs> and uh, oh yeah, yeah. So they they went to the uh, Sleepy Inn Motel uh, near the airport, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. as one does. Some, Sleepy Inn, some Corbel like Champagne, Corbel Champagne, mm-hmm. very okay. nice. Yep. 
And the sex they had was mediocre. Was average. <laughs> <laughs> Very meat and Sloppy, potatoes sex. But average. Just <laughs> missionary. Just all missionary, all slow. Yeah. Oh. And she just kept looking out the window at me and like like she saw me. Oh, oh, yeah. Like, and she I was there. I wasn't trying to hide. I was, oh, yeah. They left mm-hmm. the curtains open. Mm-hmm. And you were she, like, hello. Just, yeah, you're just was, like eating a box like, of, you don't mind if I a bag of fig this, newtons, right? just <laughs> like, mm, oh, God, yeah. yeah. Out of yeah. just a plastic oh, keep going, sack. Keep, keep going. I'll thought. keep an eye out. Huh? Good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you can get noisy if you want. Yeah. Like, I just I'm dunk, 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 like, not gonna, like, flip her over. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> 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 don't worry, I, I'll keep an eye out. So, so that... So was that your Valentine's Day then? That was how I spend Valentine's Day. Happy, happy VD. Thank happy you. VD. Thank you. Yep. Happy VD to all of you. Happy VD to everyone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, we have. I got a weird little hair doll, <laughs> voodoo doll thing for Valentine's <laughs> yeah, Day. Yeah, Susie Valentine gave us Valentine's. Yeah, shout oh. out to Susie Valentine. I don't think she listens anymore. What but, up, Susie Valentine? Uh, thanks for the voodoo hair doll thing that uh, I don't know what to do with Has it. Has it been showing up next to your bed unexpectedly? I forgot. Well, he's only had it for one night. Yeah. She gave me a skull wristband and, and some cat stickers. Oh yeah, I got cat skull? stickers also. Yeah, it's a skull. Oh, yeah. Yeah. On a wristband. Yeah. On a sweatband. Yeah. It's a sweatband. Okay. It's skulls. You punch skulls. people with it. Yeah, I, Aubrey I, I got a, on my punching arm. Uh, yeah. Aubrey got These an Oscar Valentine's Mayer. Day a, yeah. Mm. Aubrey got an Oscar Mayer mobile, Wiener mobile I whistle. Oscar Mayer flashlight? She abandoned it and I have it now. Oh, oh yeah. Because yeah. I'm not the kind of person you snooze, you who's going to fucking walk away from a sausage whistle. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you blow up that till God. the cows come hey, you gotta out. Are you going to keep that sausage whistle? Speaking God of sausage whistles. God damn it, I've never, wanted a, I've never wanted one of those. What are those things sausage called? Sausage whistles. Slide whistle. Slide whistle. I've never wanted Slide one of those more. Slide sausage whistle. So I could mm. just add a little sound effect there. That's pretty good. But speaking sausage of sausage whistle. whistles. Yes. Pete. Hello. Hello. Welcome to Coffee and Donuts and Fucked Up Shit. Hello. Oh. And, and penises is one and long bad joke. And we bet. And we bet. <laughs> Hey, we got special guests, Lil Wayne. Hey, I love, I love the podcast. <laughs> Thanks for being here, Lil Wayne. <laughs> Thanks, yeah. Lil Wayne. I'll just chime in time to time. Ah. All right. You okay. having a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> Wheezy, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. <clears throat> I, got, I got a cold. Cut him off the fucking lean. Yeah, no more lean. Give me that lean, Wheezy. So we have Wheezy. Where do you get lean? Um, the do you lean have to know store? a guy? I feel like you got to know a guy. Doug. 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 Mm. Sipping on lean and Doug's got juice. the lean. Nice. <laughs> I don't know what I've lean is. Right. I feel it's really... Cough Promethazine. It's cough syrup, huh? Or like really strong cough okay. syrup. Okay. That's, right? that's, that's like, plus. That's, that was like my breakfast this morning. So I, I have a bit have of cough syrup for breakfast. I have a bit of a... Uh, oh, oh, I caught oh, some oh, kind of oh, fucking oh, plague virus. Oh, 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 careful with that right now. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I don't know. It's not. It's not. Plague virus isn't funny with Corona running. It's around. still funny. Mm, a little. It's a little funny. I can okay. It's joke. only two percent fatality joking. though, so I think it's but, okay. Yep. Are they playing at the Hexagon tonight? Plague virus. Plague Corona virus. virus. Hell yeah. Plague, Plague virus. virus. Plague virus. All the yeah. viruses are playing Plague tonight. Virus. It's virus night at the mm-hmm. Hexagon, <laughs> which is pretty much every night. Um, no, it's usually a bacteria night. Yeah. Is what oh. it is. <laughs> I liked it hexagon. at one point when the, the ceiling was just dripping at the yeah. hexagon. <laughs> and they just had a bucket, like, catch and just drop. I think I've hole. never not been offered cocaine in the hexagon. Oh, yeah. I never true. have been offered I, cocaine. I, I uh, you got to go to the, the right dude's people. room. I guess. Oh. Cocaine? Cocaine? It's like a blind guy with uh, paper towels and cocaine. Mm-hmm. As you, as like a, the bathroom yeah. attendant. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. that's so... Except he's cocaine? very tattooed. Cocaine? Towel? Towel? Yeah. We got shot. We got... Almost got shot at at the hexagon one night. Yeah, we had to hit the dirt. <laughs> Fun fact. Was, that was literally had to hit the dirt. Really? Because yeah, yeah, Murph was playing there once too, and there was a shooting. That was a that was a big night. That was the second. Yeah, we uh, karate break was playing. Murph was playing. That yeah, was, the was second, that the same show? I think show? It was the that same was the night. second hand oh, hounds uh, fundraiser yeah, 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 thing yeah. that we did. Yeah, yeah, that was a great show. That was a busy night. Yeah. Um, and yeah, some dude fired off a gun over the patio at the hexagon. Yeah. yeah. And uh, we were all on the patio smoking. Eagle Eye Matt was out there, too. Um, and you know, you shout know, out to Eagle Eye Matt. Shout out to Eagle Eye Matt. Um, Eye 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 Eye. Eye. Not as cool is, as Eagle Eye Cherry, though. Is but, blind. Oh. Um, funny, funniest guy in the world. But what was really interesting to me about it is when that happened, um, how many people went to Matt instead of like helping themselves. Like people like went to Matt to like hustle him inside because everybody was yeah. concerned about because the guy who can't see. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah. I was or like, oh, that was really touching. But it, that was fucking scary. There was a, a like a, a, de- a moment of delay where True. everyone was like, yeah. bang, bang, and everyone was just kind of standing there. And I'm like, get down. That was a gun. <laughs> get on the ground. The Gunfire. Yes. Get down. <laughs> My yes. car got broken into a hexagon. Not surprising. Not and surprising. I was Sorry driving home, that. and I was like, why is it so cold? <laughs> Evan, oh you God. stole my fucking You backpack. shouldn't leave your candy bars out. <laughs> he does like to yeah. steal candy, yeah. and he will suck <laughs> your fingers. Suck up dick. Gotta get that. Let's talk dude. about dicks. I want to talk about dicks. I am so excited to talk about I'm cocks a- for the next four hours. Mm-hmm. I'm really excited because this has been the most fun packet I've ever done. You had a Dicks. special Dicks. beam in your eye. Yeah. And I was like, we're in for a treat. Yeah. I was sad when I, w- this is the first one that I was ever sad when I was done. I was like, oh. Oh, it's, I'm oh. it's no more dicks. <laughs> um, oh. So this is super fun. This is actually kind of a spin-off episode from Weird Animal Boners because mm-hmm. I did research on the Icelandic Phallological Museum, oh, yes. but we didn't actually get to it. Well, we did, but we just didn't quite have time to do it justice. And, we need to make a field stuff, trip so. there as well. Yes. We should. We should. I'd love to go to Iceland. It is so weird there. I was just telling, I'm like, God, fucking Iceland. It's like, it's like a bunch of Norwegians went there and then they were really isolated mm-hmm. for a long yeah. time. They don't <laughs> see people. They um, don't. Does the Ark it's, endorse this museum? I'm sure she would. She'd the say, Ark and she'd go, mm-hmm. That's a five star endorsement. Yeah. That's uh, in the uh, city. In the uh, city. and Bjork. I, I do love me some Bjork. Bjork and um, Dorkin. <laughs> so we are doing the Icelandic Phallological Museum. Mm. Sorry, I should stop if, coughing directly if on Bjork you. Bjork and Beck had a baby, it'd be, it'd be called Bjork. Bjork. I think I've done that joke on and this before. it would be before. Beaker from the Muppet. Oh, uh, no, it would be very average. Oh, okay. It'd be the most average kid you ever met. Oh. Because Beck and Bjork are pretty amazing. So yeah. I feel like yeah, they, yeah, they would just have this really weirdly average kid. kid. <laughs> <laughs> no, not even shitty. Just amazingly mediocre. If they ever make a Beck movie, Michael Sarah has to play Beck. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Has to. I saw that they're making a movie. Who else would be able to do it? Like a deflated kind about of Mr. Rogers and Tom Hanks is playing Mr. Rogers. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Which is the only person who could play Mr. Rogers. You're right. Like Here's legally. Bad. Yeah, bomb. Nobody cares about Mr. Rogers. Oh, oh I, I do. care. These millennials don't. Shut up. We live in Millennials and millennials and yeah. Old jerk waters. It's okay, they'll have their own Mr. Rogers. Yeah, Steve yeah, from Blues Clues. Steve, Steve from Blues Clues. Oh, he fucking left. It's bald. He should yeah, be Yeah, that's right. Of he left you. He left you alone. For, for, Mr. Rogers never left me. No, no more mail for I you, also, Jenna. No. <laughs> All right, let's get down to the Icelandic Phallological Museum. Uh, for the record, I'm not even going to bother to pronounce any of these Icelandic words properly. Not like out of spite. I just know that even if I tried, I yeah. can't. So yeah. instead, we're just going to have fun and we're going to do our best to say them. Some of the letters aren't even real, I'm no. pretty sure. One I of them looks like a booby. Pretty and sure one it's looks a like, <laughs> like a, a limp D with like a star on top of it. Limp dick? Mm-hmm. No, 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 not, not like like an actual letter D, like a lowercase no. D. Yeah. Like a, but at like the top's got like a star. I, I don't know. I don't know what these, it's I don't fun. know what they are. We'll do our best. We just make up our own. Yep. Yeah. We'll do our best. So for the record, all penises are donated and no animals are ever harmed in the obtaining of the penises oh, for the boring. museum. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I just imagine them just walking up to a reindeer, just yanking that dick off. Just taking a yeah. pulling a machete out and yeah. just That's slashing ah. at it. That's how they do it at Evan's Backyard Penis Museum. <laughs> yeah, my own amateur museum in the garage. Oh, boy. I got three dicks in there. <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, every museum's got to start somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. To quote Siggy, collecting penises is like collecting anything. You can never stop. You can no. never catch up. You can always get a new one, a better one. A Hell yeah. one. A better dick. And that's uh, his name is Sigur Hjartersson. Mm. Sigur Hjartersson, but we're going to call him Siggy. Ziggy. Yeah, yes. everybody did. In the, like, yeah, everybody calls him Siggy. Because uh, they can't pronounce his yeah. actual Sigur, name. Sigur. Uh, Sigur. I did a little snooping on reviews for the, for the museum, and this is actually not a joke. It's real. The, the general consensus was that it was the music, it was him, was pretty good, but it was smaller than the eight oh! oh, man. I was like, you gotta be yeah, kidding. They dick joked their own museum. <laughs> uh, so, first, we're gonna get through a little bit of the. It's not completely dry, but the, the, the next few bits are directly, word for word, from the museum's website. Give us the deets. All right. So, the museum. 
The Icelandic Phallological Museum is probably the only museum in the world to contain a collection of phallic specimens belonging to all the various types of mammals found in a single country. Phallology <laughs> is an ancient sci oh, is an ancient science, oh, ancient which science. until recent years has received very little attention in Iceland, except as a borderline field of study in other academic disciplines such as history, art, psychology, literature, and other artistic fields like music and ballet. When do you need to study dicks for music? Oh, trust uh, me. When is that moves? a borderline part of studying music? It's like, well, okay, then we're going to talk about the dicks. <laughs> yeah. But, Using dicks to drum, I don't know. Well, dicks, I guess dicks. Mick Jagger would. He'd yeah. be like... <laughs> 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 oh. Me trouser snake, baby. Oh. Um... Now, now, thanks to the Icelandic Phallological Museum, it is finally possible for individuals to undertake serious study into the field of phallology in an organized scientific fashion. The Icelandic Phallological Museum contains a collection of more than 200 penises and penile parts belonging to almost all the land and sea mammals that can be found in Iceland. Oh. Mm. Visitors to the museum will encounter <laughs> 55... <laughs> Go on. Go on. Visitors you had me at penis. <laughs> <laughs> Visitors to the museum will encounter 55 specimens belonging to 16 different kinds of whale, one specimen taken from a rogue polar bear. Just imagining like a delivery guy with a car like, what do you want this whale cock? <laughs> got another box of dicks for you, Ziggy. Yeah, you got your bobcat dicks in here, and you got your... You got your badger vagina. Oh, wrong museum. Yeah, no, no. We don't want your vaginas. Badger Get it out of here. Get it out of here. I always get them mixed up. The badge museum's that way. It's just right next door. The vagina museum is in Rotterdam. Oh. Ah. Fair enough. So, Episode two. <laughs> one specimen taken from a rogue polar bear. Ooh. 36. I know. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I don't know. Polar bears somewhat rogue. That's what I think. Yeah, they're, they're, always, they're polar bears. You always see footage of just a polar bear just alone, suffering, and just like angry. about to die yeah. and angry, confused, yeah. starving. <laughs> pretty so much, they're all rogue. They're pretty much always yeah. rogue and freelance. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, absolutely. A, I'm a freelance polar bear. Uh, 36 specimens belonging to seven different kinds of seal and walrus, and more than 115 specimens originating from 20 different kinds of land mammal. All in all, a total of more than 200 specimens belonging to 46 different kinds of mammals, including that of Homo sapiens. Besides, there are some 24 folklore specimens. Oh, yeah. And over almost 50 foreign Fake ones. Cocks. The imaginary cocks. Mm -hmm. Altogether, the collection contains 282 specimens from 93 different species of animals. You guys could have just said that instead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why don't you just give us the final map? Got a um, lot of dicks. So many dicks. In addition to the biological section of the museum, visitors can view a collection of about 350 artistic oddments and practical utensils related to the museum's practical chosen. Like a dick spoon? Artistic. Like what? Exactly like a dick spoon. Oh. I was very curious about what the artistic oddments and practical utensils might be. Yeah. I remember my grandpa had a weird cane that somebody gave him as a joke that was for like, you put it in, it was for Three peeing. Dick. Yeah, you like, you put your dick on the cane and Three pee dick. or something. I don't remember. Dick cane. I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> Funny as a dick can. Dick can. Put, put it here as a dick. It's a whistle you put on your dick, and when you pee, it goes. <laughs> 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 that sounds fun. Dick what whistle. I, oh, yeah. I did finally find out that the artistic oddments and practical utensils are things that Siggy whittles himself. He's a whittler. He's a oh, dick no. whittler. Over here, and I whittled over there. And I whittled over dick, and I whittled in my hair. We'll mention some of the things that he, some of the dicks he's whittled for his museum oh, a little later. Whittle me that. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Big time. The Whittler. I never the liked Whittler. that Batman villain. Yeah. The Whittler? No. It was it's really a slow bill. <laughs> no, it is good. He's like, I'm going to whittle a giant trap for Batman. This may take a while. <laughs> <laughs> whittle, 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 whittle. My pocket knife's become dull. Whittling is complete. Oh, Bruce Wayne's been dead for 90 years? Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I do have a local Ooh. friend who whittles dicks out of household items. Oh, you know a dick whittler. I do know a dick whittler. Oh, I actually know a dick whittler. I do, for real, yeah. His name's Dick have... Whittler. We were in third grade together, and he was always piddle paddling with his Peter. Little Richard <laughs> does, does Whittler. Your, does your dick whittling friend have an Etsy shop? He started one. He's got it. That's smart. That's why he said you Does that mean you whittle with your dick, or you whittle dicks? No, you whittle dicks. He hasn't ah. made anything suckable. It's all with wood, and when yeah, I you try, I get splinters. Yeah. Splinters. Yeah. Mouth, uh, mouth splinters uh, are the worst. Uh, like a bullying me. Uh, As opposed to uh, dick splinters. I feel like that's. it's just the ultimate way of like, Where? I just don't want to have a day job. Like anything, I'm grasping at straws, all whittle dicks and put it on ants. Who else yeah. is whittling dicks? Nobody? I guess that's a it's niche. A niche market, market is mine. Yeah. I will corner the market on dick whittling. Huh. <laughs> all right, so let's get through a little more of the, these from the, the museum's website. This is about the founder. Uh, Siggy is this himself. what the movie The Founder was about? <laughs> I, well, I don't even Dick know. I've never even guy? heard of that movie. I would totally see that. I don't know any movies. Oh. I've never watched I'm, I'm so out of touch. I'm we've so crazy we've out of touch. picking up on a few movies here We did here watch a there. movie. You know what? We, we're not going to talk about movie? movies. Billy Madison. Uh-oh. Yeah, yo. Cut him off. Cut him off. Yeah, watch Billy Madison again. Uh, so, The Founder, Siggy, you're here Dershin, uh, Siggy, um, born 1941, is a historian with a BA degree from the University of Iceland and an M.Lit degree in Latin American history from the University of Edinburgh, Scotland. I would like you guys to please picture this. An Icelandic man mm -hmm. who has learned Spanish yeah. in Scotland. Yeah. yeah. He's going to yeah. have to start studying dicks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, crazy. He's not going to find a job stuff. anywhere. Yeah. He's a very learned we man. We never I'm use not... our degrees. I'm no. not belittling him. I just want to hear that accent. Yeah. I just want to hear an Icelandic man who learned Spanish in Scotland speak Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be beautiful. And then, and then like the students in his class just in cock being like, hey, Oh, fuck, I can't do it right now. Yeah. <laughs> well, hola, hola, oh, hola. Hola, amigo. Besides, Cockney isn't Scottish. Incredible. <laughs> 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 you sounded like Nick Nolte trying to go undercover as a drug cartel. <laughs> <laughs> hola, you got your yeah, stuff. Hola, amigo. Uh, God damn it, where's the goddamn ice? <laughs> Uh, so, Siggy worked as a principal and teacher for 37 years, the last 26 years as a teacher of history and Spanish at the Hamrahilio. Oh, ham hamra Hamrahilio. He, he Hamrahilio. Reykjavik. 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 He retired in 2004 and moved to Husivik. He has written and translated some 20 books, chiefly on Latin American history, including textbooks in history and Spanish. Oh. Yeah, no, he's no slouch. Yeah. <laughs> he's no slouch. The but when did he get to the dicks? We're getting How there. How do you got time for these dicks? I know, he's Settle busy. Down. You know, he whittles it's dicks coming. while he, does he think about What are they going to do with all these dicks? <laughs> well, I'm going to put all these dicks. History of the museum in the founder's own words. The foundation was laid in 1975. <laughs> 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 There's more fun words, just you wait. Yeah, I'm going to point them all out, don't worry. <laughs> the foundation was laid in 1974 when I got a pizzle. Or a bull's penis. Thank you. As a child, I did nothing. Child. For <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if I wasn't gonna do it, I knew you were. <laughs> I was kind of looking over like, is he? No, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. See this child coming up. <laughs> yeah. We're winking at each other. <laughs> As a child, I was sent into the countryside during summer vacations, and there I was given a pizzle as a whip for the animals. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to whip what? you with your own dick. Oh. I'm going to whip you with your dead hey, Siggy, friend's go whip dick. the animals <laughs> with your pizzle. Pizzle. Better make good use of that pizzle I got you. Pizzle whip. I don't it's just give pizzles say. to everybody. Pizzle what the fuck is a pizzle? <laughs> it's a punk band. A pizzle. Yeah. Yeah. The pizzle, pizzle whips. whips. Mm. Yeah, there's oh, oh yeah, the pizzle whips. <laughs> the pizzle whips, yeah. The pizzle whips are an sure. all girl they're an all girl Satan fuck punk band. <laughs> <laughs> they're taking it back. We're on tour. Uh, all right. At the time in 1974, I was living in the town of Acranes on the south. I don't know. Acranes? Acranes? Mm. Acranes. Acranes. Sounds kind of Greek. And that's that we would we would Italian. Yeah, these are all coming hey. off a little Italian. <laughs> hey, that's where I wanted to go. <laughs> on the southwest coast, working as the headmaster in a secondary school. Some of my teachers used to work in summer in a nearby whaling station. Ah, uh, that's where they got the cocks. And after the first specimen, they started bringing me whale penises, yeah. supposedly to tease me. Uh -huh. 
Oh, uh, uh, this one's bigger than yours. <laughs> Do you want this penis? You can't have it. Yeah. You can't get oh, Got your Ziggy. penis. Got your penis. I'll show you. One day I'm going to have a museum with all my own whale penises. <laughs> That's like kind I of never cursing. coming back. I ever. hate cursing and I hate all of you. I'm never coming back to oh, school. Oh, never. Billy Madison point. Woo! Yep. Marcus, keep score. All right. That's all right. like, I mean, think about it. That's commitment to a bit. Like, you literally dragging some big, slippery, yeah. slimy, <laughs> whale penis in just to poke fun. Ah, like, ah, like, Look what know. I got. I got a whole fifth five gallon bucket of whale yeah, yeah. penis. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Just, Hold on. I got yeah, to ah, take the top ah, off and pull it out. And whoops, slippery. It's getting away. Like, take a couple people to hold a whale penis, too. Probably. Oh, yeah. big. You're going to need nine gentlemen. <laughs> Dressed in the cast. finest of attire <laughs> and a specialized net. <laughs> um, Get the uh, whale cock net. So then the idea came up gradually that it might be interesting collecting specimens from more mammalian species. Collecting these organs progressed slowly in the beginning, and in 1980, I had 13 specimens Ooh. four from whales and nine from land mammals. In 1990, there were 34 specimens, and when the museum opened in Reykjavik, in August 1997, the specimens were 62 in number. Yeah. In the spring of 2004, the museum moved to the small fishing village of Husvik, the whale watching capital of Europe. It was moved back more to more like the dick watching. <laughs> <laughs> It was moved back to Reykjavik in the autumn of 2011 and opened there under the direction of a new curator. The reaction of the visitors has been very favorable. Ooh. Over whoo, over one <laughs> I like your penises. <laughs> over 100 articles about the museum have been published in 26 countries all over the world. The number of visitors has been gradually increasing, being 12,000 in 2011. I wow. thought it was 12.0. Yeah, me too. That's how I read it. It's like what? Oh. We went right, from I, I don't nine know. visitors I, to, to 12, 12 visitors. Sure, I, maybe you might cover this later, but like I, the, the penis extraction process, what's going on? Are they just like finding a dead whale and then they just start just hacking off the dong and bringing it in? They be, yeah, I think so. I mean, Iceland is a very small country. We'll get, we'll get into that. Um, so they, there's no laws. Iceland is, yeah, so there's no laws. No. Exactly. No, it's really like a gigantic small town. I mean, literally, uh -huh. it's 300,000 people on this island. It's like everybody knows everybody. Yeah. So, I mean, you got a spare penis laying around. You're going to bring it to Ziggy. Yeah, you're going to I think a Ziggy lot of people are like, are like, again, like, look, I found a penis. Spare penis. Well, no one was ever, no animals were ever harmed. So I think that they're just, they're, they're finding walruses washing okay, so up along the shore. Dead animals. And, yeah. and yeah, they're, they're just, your cow does. That's what they're doing. You know, people go beach combing. They look for seashells. Sure. That's yeah. not weird. <laughs> no. Like maybe. Yeah, that's, that's not as weird as finding a whale and cutting off its dick and bringing it to a guy. <laughs> you know, I, <laughs> no, I'm He's not got you there. I'm just trying to understand. I'm correct. I'm at a loss. Okay, they're dead animals. They cut off the dick. They bring it to the. Okay. Is there a drying bring it to Ziggy. Out process? Oh. Well, there is. No, they, they're kept in formaldehyde Ooh. generally, and Ziggy does a lot of it himself. He is a he's a dick artist. Yeah. Um, and it's been a family a affair. He's, we'll get into it a little bit. Um, Did his you? Son, yeah. What? Oh, I was. I remember when we were watching that documentary, him like boiling some kind of a weird. Oh thing. yeah, we get into that. No, that's okay. There, and he cuts All it right. open with an exacto knife. It was rough oh, to man, watch. It was All right, else. see this, this one. This is what I want to know. Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> this really has been a family affair. It's mm. been interesting. Like, yeah, keep talking the about, dick in the family. You yeah. gotta keep the dick. <laughs> <laughs> I almost supported that statement. Hell yeah! <laughs> like, yeah, you gotta keep the dick in the family. Yeah, no. The family. Too bad no. there's no cousins. On it's the like it's like you're a family, and then you know how they have the height charts. Like yeah. on the wall, but it's yeah. dick. Oh, dick. It's but it <laughs> and it's like Billy, ninety-seven. It's Someday you'll like be bigger than inches. your old man, little Billy. <laughs> oh my God, Jesus! So, uh, so it is like I said, it's a family affair. The curator is uh, is Siggy's son. His name is Hier Dirkis Lisigersen. Uh, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Three more times, please. Hier Dirkis Lisigersen. Hergen. Hergen. You're, this is fun. He quit his job as a logistic manager to take cool. over as a curator in late 2011 and moved the museum from Husevik to Reykjavik. They've been moving it a lot. They did. They moved it yeah. from, what was it, from Reykjavik to Husevik back to, to back Reykjavik. To Reykjavik. I mean, to it's just like you're just moving all your dicks all over the place. <laughs> That's a lot of dick transportation. <laughs> you know, dicks jumbled around. <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, let's see, he has brought the display of the museum specimens to a new level and modernized the whole concept at a great downtown Reykjavik location. 
in. Here, Tur is an experienced. I love that this is included. Okay, here we go. Here, Tur is an experienced man. Yeah, he oh, is. Just that's the whole sentence. <laughs> I've had sex <laughs> four times. I'm an experienced man. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> he grew up in different countries and has traveled all over the world. He is a child of nature. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> Aren't we all? A hunter fisher and a self taught master chef. Oh. As a second generation fellowologist, well, <laughs> he is expected to. <laughs> he is expected to My set father fondled dicks and now I fondle dicks. <laughs> <laughs> he is expected to set the standard for phallology wi- worldwide. You said. Try seeing that. Foul laws <laughs> we were all <laughs> Children under that's 13 the, years the, in the company of parents. That's the dick transportation free. company. Wait, what? <laughs> that's the transportation <laughs> service. Foul laws worldwide. That's his logistics. Worldwide. 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 Okay, worldwide. children under 13 are allowed in for free. Yeah, you can get in for free. You bring a kid, Come they see in. the dicks for free. What do you want? <laughs> you don't want to bring in any, like, What don't you understand? Rent off the coupon, to... bring it in, the kid sees the dicks for free. Like, what about the 13 Can I just to 15 show you the coupon? Old? It's on my no, phone. No, no, no. We got to print it out. <laughs> oh, God. Mm. Can I fax it to you later? Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, so, fun facts. They keep mentioning, quote, unquote, the science of phallology. Yeah, this has been, like, also, like, all right, what is the science? I looked it up. And I have been hard-pressed. The beaver has more wrinkles on the scrotum <laughs> than the, the tiger. <laughs> but I've been hard-pressed to find anyone else claiming to be an expert in the field. <laughs> I've also <laughs> been hard-pressed to even find any evidence that it's a science outside of the museum itself. Yeah, <laughs> they just made it up. They, just... they got a course at, I think, the U. Well, <laughs> the only paragraph on the topic that I can find over, it's just regurgitated from the museum's mission statement. It's the phallology is an ancient science, which ancient until recent years... I know ancient science! The Egyptians yeah. would look at catcock and um, scroll it on the pyramids. <laughs> I mean, essentially, it's just the first man looking down at his penis and being like, oh, I like this. This is, this is pretty cool. <laughs> I haven't seen you before. And philology was born. <laughs> uh, let's see, where were we? Uh, let's get to the next page. So this doesn't mean that I don't think that scientists have unlocked the mysteries of the penis. I just don't think anyone has devoted their entire life to studying dicks, except for Siggy and his son. Because, yeah. like, what's the difference of just studying studying human anatomy? Sure. What's like, there to study? Well, exactly. You suck it and you make a sandwich later. <laughs> Right. <laughs> you want to study my dick tonight? <laughs> <laughs> you know how to make a sandwich, right? <laughs> <laughs> As I was saying before, they do like to keep the dicks in the family. That's what that laugh. <laughs> you won't be laughing when you're done. <laughs> it's, hard to, it's gonna be hard to laugh with a mouthful of dick. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. God. Sorry. Who is this character? <laughs> he likes oh, to get no. his dick sucked. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah. This is a fucking horrible guy. <laughs> He's at the generic family Juicy Lucy. Yeah, I'm back. <laughs> Where's the popcorn? <laughs> so, like I said, hey, Evans, this popcorn fresh today. <laughs> you mind if I just use my hands to get it all out? And I just put it in my pants and walk out and laugh. Just fill the <laughs> coat pocket. You look full. so fucking sexy right now. <laughs> <laughs> I want to just eat your ass right now. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, uh, what? Uh, yes, uh, another gin and tonic. <laughs> All right, so another gin and lemonade. Another gin and lemonade God. for the lady. Ew. Oh, All oh. Right, so, as I was saying before. <laughs> Back they, to the dicks. They keep the dicks in the family. The founder's daughter. Now, okay, we're in the second paragraph. You see, this is that letter the that looks like a boob. Her, her name, uh, the child, I, I, I think, it's that letter that looks like a boob. It looks like a cross between Booby a, Borgen. A, a, P and a, and a, D, a P and a D. Yeah, it hasn't Put chosen. Put the P and the D. So I think her yeah. name is Pierger. Uh, she relates a story. Poor girl. <laughs> yeah, everybody have a go at it. it. Did like I do it? Poor girl. Poor poor girl. Bit. What does your dad do again? I think he works with dicks or something. <laughs> well, she w- she has a story about having to collect a penis from the local slaughterhouse. When one of the workers asked her what she had in the basket, she had to admit that it was a frozen goat penis. Aww. And she swore she'd never collect penises for dad again. Yeah. Dad, <laughs> that's it. I'm running dad. away. I'm running away. I'll never you, touch Dad. another dick in my life. I just like how someone was like, hey, what's in that basket? Hey, little girl, <laughs> what's in that basket? I'm not going to lie. It's a frozen girl. <laughs> <laughs> Wish I wouldn't have asked. <laughs> Move along. Carry on. 
<laughs> she apparently recovered from embarrassment from that incident because she later went on to sculpt 15 silver penises based on the Icelandic national handball team. Wait, 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 we gotta go to Iceland. <laughs> the members of the handball team yeah. she went there and sculpted their penises? Yes. Well, no, she lives there. She didn't go there. I mean, to, I, to she, the, the players of the handball well, team. Well, we're gonna talk about it. Oh. Well, that's not even like... She drew the duck blue. It's very casual over there, okay? It's not, you know... It's a handball team. It's not like a, a like a big like team. hard. Rock. It's not like Led Zeppelin or something. It's not like <laughs> it's, it's a fucking handball team. Yeah. You can handball, sculpt that like dick. It's a hand job out. team. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what's handball? Is that where you like hit the ball with your hand? You, yeah, you, dude. You I just imagine like a ball, like, ball, ball and you just, oh, like it bounces back. Yeah, I played that game. Throw a ball with your hand. <laughs> yeah. Have a good time. Handball. Everybody gets laid. <laughs> <laughs> you said hand job game or something, and then yeah, I just imagined the hand team. job Olympics. The national oh, championship. Oh, like, <laughs> 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 Three point four, new record. Seconds. Yes. Oh, stop it. Winner. Oh. Oh, that was a cool. <laughs> Hey. Here comes American Spurkin. <laughs> like Silver medalist star- finalist. The starter pistol goes off. And just... yeah. Done! The Usain Done. Bolt of hand jobs. Done. Is there Done. points for how far you shoot to? Well, what are the That's points the for? Shoot the shoot No, it's for, it for it's speed. The, I think it's just effectiveness. Speed. How many times you can come in under a minute? Oh. No, I, see, I think it's the. Per- no, we're it's talking it. about the hand job Olympics. You're giving the You're hand, giving hand yeah, jobs. You, you gotta make this guy the come. Giver. There should be style the points. I'm points. sorry. Uh, yeah, there should be style points. Yeah, I think freestyle hand job. It- it's all on. <laughs> like there's the backstroke, uh, like front a, like stroke. Going. I, don't like going. I don't like where this is going. I'm giving. I'm, I Hand job Olympics only in Iceland. <laughs> I, I quit. Every ninety years. So, so back to the silver penises. She drew the duck blue. Yeah, I, lo- I love how every time in this episode you're just gonna be like, so back to the badger yeah. cock. <laughs> she drew the duck blue. Billy Madison point. As a, there, there it is. is. There, there it is. There because it is. that's two for you. Because so she made the penises silver because the team had just won a silver medal okay. at the 2008 uh, Beijing Handjob Olympics. <laughs> she says that the sculptures were based on her own experience rather than any knowledge of the team, whatever that means. So, so she's that's just like, I don't facts. understand. That. So she's just kind of. I, oh. I would imagine this is what I would picture. Looking at you. Yeah. What I picture your day. <laughs> someone was someone was fucking disappointed after this. Like, what? Why'd you make it so small? It's like a little acorn. I'm gonna start drawing penises on. You know how people draw caricatures at the mall. Yep. I'm yes. just gonna like look at you and then draw your what, what I think, what I think your, your dick, dick looks, looks like. Are you a grower or a shower? Uh, right? oh, that's gonna be fun. I'm gonna make a lot of money. <laughs> um, so uh, she says that the sculptures were based on her own experience rather than any knowledge of the team. Uh, the team's goalkeeper supports her claim, denying that the sculptures are cast. Oh. Oh. Ziggy states that while the penises don't line up in the same order as the individuals in the accompanying photograph, that their wives would recognize oh, them. Oh, yeah, that's... Wow. Uh... That looks like Billy's cock, yeah. <laughs> Great job. It's Fjordson's that's... cock. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. Got the birthmark <laughs> right and everything. <laughs> Well, another fun fact, 60% of the museum's visitors are women. Huh. Sluts. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> when, asked, <laughs> when asked about the possibility of a vagina museum, whoa. Siggy said, I'm only collecting the male organ. Somebody else has to do the other job. I'd be interested <laughs> in how they would preserve it, but I think vaginas are better alive. <laughs> yes, I think vaginas Amen, are better Siggy. alive. Call me crazy. <laughs> But you ever had a dead one? Vagina should be alive and raw. <laughs> and raw. <laughs> Eat your own dog. Everybody knows cocks are better dead. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, there used to be a pop-up museum in Rotterdam called the Museum of Vaginal Imagination. Ooh. And there's Vaginal also- Imagination. <laughs> wait, wait, no, I was going. Come I'm with Willy me Wonk. and yeah, we'll see <laughs> a world of vaginal imagination. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. For it's just a bunch of dudes. Like, bro, I, I imagine this badge is just like wet as fuck. <laughs> All right. Pull the picture back. Pull the, pull the slider back. <laughs> yeah, no. All right. 
<laughs> and there's also a vagina museum in London that is still looking for a permanent home, I guess. It's a wandering vagina museum. I'm a vagina on the you loose. You guys can use my basement <laughs> for the vagina museum for now. I'll tell you find a place. Just for a little while. Guy in a horse-drawn carriage, you're like, uh, Where shall my vagina museum Come, be? step up. One, come one, come all. Look at him. Guy's uh, vagina museum. And he pulls the curtain The orangutan back. pussy. <laughs> there is a sex museum in Amsterdam, and they have a peeping Tom guy who goes like hey, 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 and then he like flashes you yeah. really yeah Man. it's like animatronic people oh talk. i was yeah, like yeah, they yeah. pay a guy to <laughs> fucking do you that you don't have to pay him <laughs> yeah you don't pay have to see he's under my cloak <laughs> <laughs> the guy just waking up in the morning like ah, a cup of coffee an hour, and a big breakfast i gotta <laughs> i gotta shake my dick and a lot of kids today <sighs> all right <laughs> those days always riding the, i gotta ride the train to, no. <laughs> i don't know but do stuff. they have a human penis? Yes, they do. And they have plans for more. They got one of ours? They don't. They, well, you know, they would, I don't think. I, I, so this was in 2011. It's 2020 uh-huh. now. I'm not sure if they have more penises. I'm also not sure if Ziggy is still with us. I tried to see if Ziggy was still alive. Because mm. um, his son's kind of relevant. His son's taking over. Yeah. His son will take yep. over. It'll be in good hands. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. Um, but yeah. I, I wish I could report further on, like, if they have m- new human penises. Not really sure. We got to go. But the story of the first human penis is, is pretty great. Um, in 2011, the museum received its first human penis from Icelandic donor Paul Arison. Paul was known locally for his prowess with the ladies Hell and yeah. wanted to donate his Ooh, penis to the, <laughs> and wanted to donate his penis to the museum for the sake of posterity. The museum was excited to get it due to the fact that they focused primarily on collecting Icelandic penises, and his donation took priority over non-Icelandic donors. It's prestigious, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was a big deal. Keep it local. Keep it local, keep the penises in the family, keep the penises in the town. Yes. Yes. (laughs) Keep the dicks in the town, don't let the dicks leave. (laughs) Paul was starting to get worried, though, because his penis was shrinking with age. No! (laughs) That happens? It does, and he wanted to donate an impressive specimen. Mm-hmm. Paul died in January 2011 at the age of 95, and sadly, his penectomy didn't go entirely as planned. They're like, you know, your dick got a little smaller. Well, and... we're going to get into it, dude. It's because yeah. we, we watched the movie. We're going to go through I the wanna, movie. I want to talk about it so bad, story. but I'm just going to keep well, my Just wait. Shut it's going to be one. Off. Just wait for I can't, I can't we're so hold close. it in. We're so, oh, you're so close. You're so oh. close. Just hold it. Hold it. You're so <laughs> close. You're so close. I told you to hold it. Oh. Oven, not again. Lucy Juice again. Ah, that's what I do. <laughs> so, <laughs> you, like when people that's are how you like when people you just are scream. like, <laughs> ah! Ah! get out, get out, don't look at me. And then the, cry, and then the crying begins. <laughs> I think there's some taquitos in the freezer. <laughs> oh. Want to have a snack? Yeah. You want breakfast? <laughs> taquitos and hams. Brunch. Yeah. <laughs> ham wrapped taquitos. Brunch. Back on the ham. Uh, sadly, the penectomy didn't go as planned. Everyone agreed that the penis needed to be taken while it was still warm. Hey. And penis then they, is cold. And then they would bleed it and pump it with lipids. But instead... <laughs> what are lipids? But, Fatty tissues. Oh, okay. fatty bubbles. Yeah, you never put Fat it in bubbles. your dick. I never pump my <laughs> you never penis pump your full dick. of lipids it up. that I know of. But instead, Paul's penis was left too long and allowed to get cold Aww. and not Aww, properly no. sewn up, which Aww. resulted in a grayish brown shriveled mass. Ew. Reminds me of another penis I know. Yours? <laughs> According to Ziggy. <laughs> don't, don't, what are you looking at me for? <laughs> oh, Keith Richards' penis. Oh, oh yeah. 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 You don't I want forgot me about Keith. Oh, you should be a special guest on today's I show. Should have. Can I be in your museum? Yes. Oh. No, you're Sean Connery and. You're Sean Connery's I'm penis? Sean Connery's cock. <laughs> Sean Connery's <laughs> down to my shaft. Oh, you're scary, mister. Queen Elizabeth I knighted know. my penis in 1986, and I will conquer any vagina that comes near me. <laughs> I don't like this guy. He's, He's aggressive. He's, He's going to plant a flag in a vagina. <laughs> Sean Connery. <laughs> 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 uh, according to Ziggy, 
I should have stretched it and sewn it at the back to keep it more or less in a normal position. Instead, it went directly into the formaldehyde. I will get a younger and better one soon. Oh, yeah, he, he said so that. He's very elite about the younger, penises that better, he... Oh, yeah. Stronger, no more wrinkles. He opened the shaft. <laughs> we going to find out um, when we go through the movie. Because um, Ziggy knows Paul. They're actually friends. Again, yeah. Iceland is really small. Oh, yeah. We've all seen each other's dicks. It's chill. It's fine. Uh, visitors' general reaction to Paul's penis seems to be fear and concern. Yeah. <laughs> Not well, in it's that. Well, a ninety-eight-year-old man. Well, with penis nobody in cares how they got the whale cock or the badger penis, but the human cock. <laughs> well, it's it, they seem upset in that someday that will happen to them. Not that their that their penis will shrink oh. with age. Am I oh. gonna oh. be that small like, one day, mommy? It's yes. like a PSA, like. Yes, you could use it. It'll happen. Know. Well, yeah, use It'll it now. Yeah. Use it now. And here's a 94-year-old man's penis. <laughs> That'll be $20. Uh, but speaking of younger, better penises, Ziggy has a few to choose from. A German, a Brit, and an American all walk into a penis museum. Yeah. <laughs> chop, chop, chop. I don't have much info on the German or the Brit, but the American, this is good, this is great. You got his yeah. name is Tom Mitchell. Oh, this this yeah. fucking guy. And he thinks his penis deserves to be famous. He he named it Elmo, oh, and Tom that. has already sent a cast of Elmo to the museum along with photos of Elmo dressed up as Santa and Abe Lincoln, oh. respectively. <laughs> not, not at the same time. I think time, there was of one course. of him as like a spaceman, too. Oh, yeah, there's I more. We're going to get into it. Wizard. Yeah. Gonna, yeah, he's a wizard. You want to meet yeah. Elmo? <laughs> <laughs> According to Ziggy. Elmo don't laugh. Elmo want to be an astronaut in museum. <laughs> <laughs> According to Ziggy, Tom Mitchell wanted to have his penis cut off even during his lifetime and then visit the museum. Hey, you he, see that? That's yeah. my fucking dick, man! <laughs> exactly. Hey, Except he wouldn't hey, say it like that. Mine. He'd be like, you see that? That's yeah. my dick uh, right there. No, it's um, not, Tom dude. Mitchell, I the swear American, to God, that's my that's, fucking dick. Check that's it out. my penis. Yeah, he's very, he uh, he's almost got a Dr. Phil-esque he's way about him. He's very penis expressive like in the way he talks. He my penis. does not open his mouth very much. Mm. From all the dick got sucking, bit of a southern, his jaw is um, a little sore. So... He's, if he Whoa. could suck his own dick, he fucking would. Yeah, he would. <laughs> so he's also why he wants to cut it off. Oh, oh so he can suck he, on it like a popsicle. I don't have to he bend would. my back as much. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, boy, my chiropractor bill is going to go way down. <laughs> I don't uh, have to get those ribs removed. <laughs> so Tom Mitchell, he's tattooed his penis with the stars and stripes. He hasn't U-S-A. featured... U-S-A. <laughs> U-S-A. What? U-S-A. That's what he got. I'm proud stars and stripes, to yeah. be an yeah. American where I know like my dick is free. what Kid Rock's penis looks like. Oh, Probably, yeah. it, but yeah. his was born that way. Kid um, Rock can open a bottle of Budweiser with his penis. Yes. So can I. Man, this is that's the true. best news I've heard this year so far. He also, his penis is featured in a comic book called Elmo, Adventures of a Superhero Penis, which I assume he draws himself <laughs> yeah. by a flashlight in a tent <laughs> in his mom's basement. My penis goes to the moon, and then my penis <laughs> goes to Africa and finds a treasure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's a president of the United States. And one day I'll be in a museum. Mm-hmm. Tom, <laughs> lights out! <laughs> Go to bed! <laughs> you making penis comics again? <laughs> <laughs> no. No, then, Ma, no. I'll show Mom one day. But then there's Get Jonah it. Falcon. Oh. Oh, hell. <laughs> then there's Jonah Falcon. Ooh. Fuck yeah. Now, Jonah Falcon <laughs> is, is the alias. real deal. He's, <laughs> he was invited to donate his penis and has accepted... Uh, and this time they hey, better well, I'm not. Like, yeah, I'm Jonah fucking Falcon. Well, all right? he is Jonah fucking Falcon. <laughs> oh, this time yeah. they better not uh, fuck up the penectomy. For the record, I had no idea who Jonah Falcon was before <laughs> researching this packet. Oh, and for know. those who also may not know, allow me to quote an article from Rolling Stone magazine. Whoa. Are you guys Whoa. ready? I am. Quote. Jonah Falcon's penis is 9.5 inches flaccid, 13.5 inches Holy erect. Shit. Fuck yeah. Tense your forearm. Now wrap your hand around the middle of the muscle. That is the girth of Falcon's oh erection. Just fucking those, ram it in me. Those who have witnessed it describe it as grotesque. Gorgeous, hideous, and stunning. What the fuck? Falcon, who stands five foot nine, thinks his penis is perfectly formed with a 15 degree downward curvature at the six inch mark. That's good form. And (laughs) absent the blotching lumpiness and sudden bends that mark some oversized sex organs. A penis this size. (laughs) No splotchies. Splot free zone. A penis this size functions physiologically like any other, according to urologists. A claim substantiated by Falcon. Yeah, that's true. His balls are proportionately huge. 
<laughs> <laughs> but he he's, he's got really small balls. Imagine each, having like pebbles, little robin eggs. Each the size of a grade A jumbo egg. Jesus. Oh. When erect, brown Fal- When erect, Falcon's penis generates enough heat to warm hands. Campfire style. <laughs> Who's from, cold? From a distance of six inches. My penis inches. is coming. Whoa. Put my hands over the cock. I know. So the Jonah Falcon is the man with the biggest dick in the Jonah world. Jonah Falcon. Fuck yeah, bro. Yeah. Jonah Falcon, badge destroyer. <laughs> <laughs> Jonah Falcon, but, badge destroyer. And his dick is famous, but he doesn't walk around thinking it needs to be. Yeah. Um, he knows does he, like, um, does he do porn or anything? Or I don't he just, think he does. He's just he's a guy just, with just a huge a big, dick. I think he's okay. been featured in some movies and stuff, but I didn't look into he's it that hard. Yeah. And he likes improv comedy. Father of... Three wonderful husband. Yeah. <laughs> so when asked about donating his own donating his own penis to the museum, Siggy says that depends on his wife. Quote: It depends on who dies first. If my wife goes before me, I'll have my penis go to the museum when I die. But if I go first, I can't guarantee she'll let that happen. Okay. Why she, she want to save keep it that for herself? So, yeah. yeah. Well, the, the, uh, as we we're about to get in the documentary, and we're going to start to understand some of the psychology a little bit here, why his wife might not want his penis in the documentary. <laughs> so these are my notes literally word for the word as I watched the documentary. They're, I didn't edit them at all, so they're a little nonsensical. Okay. But Excellent. I felt it gave an impression of, you know, the movie. What, what, was the, what was the movie called again? The, the, search fin- for the, the Final Member. Final Member. Ooh. It's a good yeah, watch. It's good. a, what did we say, a $4 rental? I've written $4 oh, on Amazon. It's worth it. Yeah. Yeah. Best $4 Absolutely. you spent recently. So the first thing I wrote was, Cave Bear, extinct penis bone, he loves. <laughs> Are you writing these notes in crayon? <laughs> exactly. Just drawing pictures. I just translate them. <laughs> that's a penis. Uh, that's a penis. <laughs> not perverted or pornographic in any way. Just a collector who loves what he does. He just loves talking about dicks. For the love of dicks. I, like, I, like I said, he's almost tender about it. It's not even, he's just really, he's just... He's just Really love like he just has a deep passion. I want to hear stuff. someone's mom scold their kid for the love of dicks. For the love <laughs> of get inside, <laughs> put that Wolverine penis back. <laughs> As we were saying earlier, Siggy likes whittling things into useful penises: salt and pepper shakers, a gavel, double dick style, Hell dick yeah. head and balls for the hammer and for the cool. handle. Yeah, yeah, it's like all kinds of dicks. <laughs> um, he made a mini bar dick case. Uh, Epic. <laughs> Does, Check, please. Does Amazon I, Prime me? Yeah. Hell yeah. to hold a Crown Royal bottle. Yeah. What other bottle it's would you hold? It's got a little handle on it. And then, well, and then there's another hinges. bottle. It's got hinges. Yep. It's got, like, place for screws or uh, corkscrews and shot glasses and stuff. He made, he's got dick silverware. <laughs> mm-hmm. He's a dick whittler. I'll take a dick spoon. <laughs> yeah. So Ziggy can't understand why no one why no one will just give him a human penis. They're cutting up dead people all the time anyway. He's like, I don't know why people just won't why they just cut it off, one. bring it to me. Just give it to me. I'll take care of it. I'll like, handle it. Oh yeah, legal permission. That's why they can't. Boring. <laughs> so Iceland has a small population, only 300,000 people for the entire country. People aren't willing to just sign their dicks over to the museum because it might humiliate their families. Because so it's so small. Everybody <laughs> knows each other. Yeah, and they've all been to the dick cousin museum. Cousin Eddie's dick on display at the Fulalja <laughs> Two Museum. Two-inch pecker. <laughs> so Ziggy equates, or Ziggy's brother equates not having a human dick um, in the museum to not having the whole series of something in Missing One Piece, like not having all the comic books or all the Smurf glasses yep. from Pizza Hut. Um, he says, <laughs> the museum isn't real without it. Wow, that's a hard hit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Jeez. Gotta but, get that dick. But Ziggy's health is declining and he's anxious to see a human penis in his museum. I Me get too. It. We all want to see it. 40 years. We want to get <laughs> um, but here comes Paul Harrison, 95-year-old ladies man with the penis that could tell up, you ladies? some tales. Hey, you what? bitches want this or what? Yeah, this guy is pretty epic. Like he's he, he's in a, like a full-length uh, trench coat, like a leather trench coat. Mm. <laughs> Perfect for exposing dapper. yourself. Yeah. yeah, he's dapper. He's old. The ladies' man. He is a ladies' man. Quite the man. cocksmith he is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but he's old as fuck, so it's kind of funny hearing him t- uh, tell his tales. Of... Uh, well, you know, maybe it's really great because you know how old people, their hands really shake when they write? Maybe his dick yeah, does that so now. Annoying. Maybe. <laughs> it's kind of like a vibrator. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Uh, pop on pop, baby. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Oh, you just ruined <laughs> sex for me forever. <laughs> forever. 95 years, <laughs> 9.5 inches. Oh, God. Oh. Ooh. 
So uh, he signs the documents to donate his dick, <laughs> and they have the empty bottle mounted in a glass case with the signed permission slip next to it, just sitting there waiting. Oh. Did you get your permission slip? <laughs> waiting for his dick. <laughs> Uh, but here comes Tom Mitchell. Ah, oh, boy. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Here oh, comes boy. Tom here Mitchell. Ah, oh, boy. I don't know where to begin. Not what I was picturing. He calls it the philological museum. <laughs> uh, do you want to be, who wants to be Tom Mitchell, guys? I will. You want to be Tom? Okay, he's got a southern accent. He doesn't open his mouth when he talks. It kind of, he kind of sounds like Dr. Phil. And go. Ah, uh, well, ever since I was a kid, that when the time came, I didn't want my penis to go to waste when I die. Perfect. And when I came across the Iceland Philological Museum, it seemed like the ideal solution to a lifelong dream. That you nailed it. Yeah, <laughs> very good. Thank you, it. thank you. Perfect. I really yeah. felt. Also, you just like, found our to Tom that, I was imagining guys. like Morgan Freeman just saying like. Yes. Like the Shawshank narration. <laughs> well, I think Evan, you want to be Siggy for the rest of the the script. I shall be Siggy. Perfect. All right. <laughs> so Tom Mitchell. The American. The American sense. Well, they call him that all throughout the documentary. That's funny. The American. Tom Mitchell, yeah. the American. It's so almost I like a pew pew, the American. <laughs> uh, so Tom Mitchell, the American, sent Ziggy a very Tim and Eric picture of himself. <laughs> so he's naked, guys, on a stool Hell yeah. with one leg straight and one leg hooked <laughs> over the rung, hand oh. on knee. Other hand on hip, black background. Now, yes. you remember like Boy Scout pictures or school pictures yeah, yeah. in the past where they'd have that picture of you and then the yes. a ghost yes. picture of you yeah. in the yeah. back? Yeah. I, wish, I wish it had that. Oh, my God. But <laughs> it's his penis is the ghost. But his penis is the ghost, the ghost picture. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Um, so, along with the photo are the signed documents and a cast of his penis. I don't know if he didn't, Autographed. He didn't have color options when the cast was made, but he had a black dick made for himself. <laughs> Hell yeah. He had a black man's it dick. It was cheaper. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, also, for the record, Paul's penis comes in at five and three quarter inches, but is uh -oh. shrinking. Tom's is seven inches on the ah, nose, ding, ding, and ding, he's ding, ding. willing to cut it off it's right crazy. now. USA, USA, USA. And okay, let me let me address this too. Iceland is a um. Weird? We are not Americans. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> it's it's yeah. small town. It's picture like rural Minnesota. Yeah. Okay. This is kind of the demeanor of of the 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 folks in Iceland. They're pretty chill. They're not super excitable. Everything's just kind of even keel. It's kind of there. Yeah. It's peaceful. Um, oh, and, racist. And <laughs> <laughs> what? No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, like, that's well, just rural Minnesota. That's just rural Minnesota. Just rural Minnesota. Oh, so they're racist and deep um, pizza hut. But <laughs> they're all super chill. And you got Tom Mitchell, even though he talks like really really dull like that, but he's still like Seth's really pushy. Yeah. He's yeah. super pushy. Yeah. With kind his of penis. a, uh, he knows what he you wants. say, uh, kind of an asshole. And they're not pushy there. They're chill, man. Okay. They're so chill. he's he's coming in all American, bluster and like, oh, I'm gonna have to have my cock in this museum. Yeah. And you hey, just time chill out, all right? But, yeah. the, but then they exactly. have Paul Harrison, who they know. They've known Paul he's a, he's for years. Man of the hometown they boy. want yeah. an Iceland the time's penis. A ticking. But and and Tom Mitchell's being really pushy. He's like, "Well, I'll cut my dick off right now. Oh, no. yeah. and, I'll and, do it myself." And they're like, but "We kind of want hammer. the Iceland penis. Like, we want our friends, our old friends' penis." Yeah, we want to rep Iceland. I get that. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> okay. Um, so America's so, got to put their dick into everything. Hell you know? yeah. So, Tom Mitchell's first wife was the one who named his penis Elmo before the Muppet character ever existed. Yeah, he is yeah. very Can you quick imagine? to mention. He's like, babe, babe, they named a. Pump it after you, Dick. <laughs> 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 All right, Jenna, here we got uh, Tom Mitchell with the... Uh, mm -hmm. I started realizing... I started realizing that, that to ask somebody who's a close friend to make sure that my sex organs are cut off my cold, dead corpse is really just kind of a gross thing to ask anybody to do, <laughs> especially anybody you care about. And if you want anything done right, you probably need to see it for yourself. So, more recently, I decided that, uh, actually, it would be a good idea to do it before I die. That, that's what he's, pretty much what he sounds like. True American. God, you are so good at this, Jenna. You're fucking killing it. Oh, uh, he's got another one here. I can see where most any rational guy would say, boy, that's an extreme thing to do. I mean, nobody would really want to do that, uh, during their life. <laughs> 
Tom Mitchell. Deep the American. Deep thoughts with Tom Mitchell. Oh, here I go again. <laughs> Tom Mitchell, the American. I've always had a dream. Not only Elmo being placed on display in a public place, but as a result, possibly some fame and fortune. Yeah. Not for myself, but for Elmo. <laughs> that doesn't uh, make any sense. I've always thought it'd be really cool for my penis to be the world's first true penis celebrity. <laughs> Tom Mitchell in the American. Well, you I literally feel like it's said just... really cool. <laughs> yeah. I think oh, I'm being real cool. I don't want fame and fortune but for myself, not for me. but for my penis that's going to spend Elmo. all this fortune. He's got fortune. a separate bank account. I don't want to be a museum. According to Ziggy, if you want to donate your dick, there are two requirements. Magic. Number one, legal documents signed by three witnesses. <laughs> Number two, proof of legal length, which is five inches. Okay. That's so, the legal length. Wait, okay, yeah. no, this is awesome. Fucking, this is so awesome. So this legal length is in place. Magic do... is illegal. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> Walked in, dead or alive. The four inch man. Just put a little, little ski mask on him. I love cowboy hat and some spurs. Oh, All right, okay. So, this legal length, you guys, is in place due to an Icelandic folk tale. Of course it is. So you ready for what? it? All right, sit down. We're gonna we're gonna listen to an Gather Icelandic around, folk folk tale, you guys. Story goes as follows. There's an old lady who wants a divorce because her husband is only packing three inches. Oh, I've heard this story. So, <laughs> so she goes to the sheriff about it. I have to pause here. I have to pause here is this to the wonder. New Cohen brothers. This is, how, this is how Icelandic law works. I do have to pause here to wonder that she's an old lady. That would mean she's been dealing with her husband's tiny dick for years. So what's the problem all of a sudden? She's fed up. She's like, you, yeah, she's, she's, she's you're old. Up. What the fuck's the matter? She wants some hog. All right, so back some to the story. Some premium hog. She's and been she ain't deprived of hog. Oh. She ain't getting it. So she goes to the sheriff about Jonah it. Jonah Falcon enters. <laughs> The sheriff asks her, is it unusable? Oh. To which the old lady replied, it's no more than three thumbs worth. <laughs> three, the old, <laughs> three thumb shake. That's how I measure my thumber. wiener. I go, yeah, oh, I'm up to four thumbs today. <laughs> the old lady demands a declaration of legal length. The sheriff don't know nothing about that. I don't know he nothing asks, about that, Emma. He asks, ain't three thumbs worth enough? And the old lady says, no. One in the hair, one in the skin, and a third and a fourth and a fifth one in. <laughs> And Whoa. that's an Icelandic folk So folk essentially, tale, one inch to get through her giant bush. Yeah. Uh, another inch to get climb through her, her saggy, that, foldy that meaty, badge. That meaty Keep clit. Going, yeah. <laughs> and and the, and the, and the other three is just one. Three inches for pushing. Yeah, and the other three are just for fun. <laughs> Two inches will get it done, but three for fun. <laughs> Everybody knows that old Icelandic lifestyle. That's how laws are. All right, bad. children, how does it go? One in the hair, one in the skin, a third and a fourth and a fifth one in. <laughs> That's children's choir. That's beautiful. Ooh. Oh, so order, please. order! I declare your penis illegal. <laughs> Death by public hanging. God. Death. Haha, <laughs> public hanging. Hanging from your penis. That's how it'd have to go. Maybe it would lengthen it up. Yep. Lengthen it Old out. Pull stretch. it out. Stretch it out. Yeah, so do there's... you do a daily stretch, Evan? <coughs> <coughs> yeah, it's called masturbating. <laughs> 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 get out! Get out! Do you Don't look at me! To yourself when you Want masturbate, breakfast? you yeah, also he just go through yells that at, a, at, a, at a mirror. Yeah. <laughs> get out! You get disgusting out. fuck! Hang on, do you want to get breakfast? <laughs> You want to go to Burger King, Evan? Yes. Nice treat. Yes, I do, Evan. Thanks for asking, Evan. Why, thank you. You're so handsome, Evan. <laughs> oh, so, Eric, do you, remember, do you remember the scene in the movie where some guy is trying to make a cast of Paul Arison's yes. dick? Yes. The old man is laying he's down. He's laying on a cold floor. He's like the, and he's oh, old man, take like a look at my dick. It's a lot like, like yours. yours. Uh, yeah, they, so they got this old guy. Get him to 
lay on the floor. On a tarp on the floor. Yeah, on a tarp. <laughs> Drop trowel. And then this kind of like hippie, dreadlock, white like guy. 20 year old. Man, like, just going to kind of unfold your shaft here. So and just uh, just re- lay back, relax, and we'll put on some fish. And we'll get, <laughs> the, and we'll get the grooves very chill. And uh, I and we'll, we'll just want to, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, we're here shrinking. We I think they were using the wrong kind of plaster, though, because yeah. oh. none so of this starts, goes right. He starts slathering the old man's oh, unit up no. with plaster. Wait, do you see the live dick? Or is yeah, yeah, no, you, you see it. See you bird. see so much old man dick. Yeah, Woo! there's there, I saw way too much old man puke. I don't have to go to the YMCA anymore. And the brittle the and, like, sparse. <laughs> <laughs> Does the pube gray, too? No, it's, like, gingery. Yeah. It's like gingery <laughs> and brittle. Everybody and knows your pubes become ginger like when you get older. Oh. <laughs> but it's like they're using the wrong kind of plaster, oh. and then they leave him alone, and he's just laying just on the floor. Just laying there. It's like the guy who's obviously down. got a yeah, camera. Yeah, he's like, oh. <laughs> and then they take it off, but they didn't. Can we get the dick Can yet? someone get me some oval tea? Is anybody listening? <laughs> what are oh, point, 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 Billy Madison point. Billy Madison point. Billy Madison point. Congrats. But but then they go to take it off and it just they didn't it use starts the, breaking it like and crumbling and, and like he's it. trying to pull it off and his like skin is <laughs> pulling oh, off and his <laughs> pubes are all pulling out <laughs> and like the old guy's getting mad he's like stop don't pulling out my penis <laughs> and like yeah the little the the hippie guy is just trying and he's hey man, failing just chill and relax I'm just gonna yank this clay out of your pubes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Might sting a little. <laughs> yeah, so he basically he botched it. He blew it. He botched it. <laughs> so that's a scene in the movie. Meanwhile, <laughs> Tom Mitchell, the American, really wants Elmo to be the first human penis in the museum. One man's dream fighting another. So this is real, because Ziggy, Ziggy's dream. It's like dream, Ford versus Ferrari. <laughs> <laughs> Ziggy's dream is to see that penis in the museum before he dies, but he wants it to be Icelandic. He's and hoping. Tom, He's just like, yeah. and it's a sweet, peaceful, humble dream. And yeah. Tom Mitchell is just like, I want my dick in your building. He's like, if I got it, it's there. Uh, uh, I'll cut it off right now, uh, okay. man. I'll get you a dick. I'll get, I'll get you a dick. dick. I'll fucking get nail it. Dick. All right, so here's that scene, Eric. I don't know. <laughs> My note is just, I don't know what kind of weird boiled dick he just pulled oh. out of that pot, but he sure is slicing it open with a box oh. cutter. Yeah, yeah, it is. Is this a David still. Lynch film? It's him, it's him just explaining that he wants, like, or like that the American's being a little pushy and he wants the, the, the Icelandic penis. And he is, he's just like, he's got like a like a leather apron on and he's got like a little uh, uh, a hot plate and he's boiling up something. And then he just pulls out this big, long, Reindeer weird Reindeer dick and cheese, bro. Dick. <laughs> <laughs> and he's cutting it open with, with a, a fucking, fucking yeah with a box with cutter, a box with a utility cutter. knife. Yeah, but he's just he's so like Casual. like matter of fact. Like yeah. this is just this is a day Cooking in the life, baby. Ziki. Yeah. <laughs> well, and you, you, you see, and it's hard to watch. It is. Well, you mentioned racism earlier. Um, Paul Harrison. There's, <laughs> yes. uh, there's Eric a part, did, yes, as he does. There's a part mm-hmm. with Paul Harrison where he's talking about how he loves all kinds of ladies, but not Eskimos. Yeah. <laughs> never an yeah. Eskimo. Oh my God. Yeah, was like, oh jeez. Yeah, the old man. Never love an Eskimo again. The old man. Winter in Anchorage, '67. It was. It was cold. That pussy was cold. It was cold. Oh. You ever got your dick stuck in a frozen pussy? It is hard <laughs> to pull out. It really increases shrinkage. Oh. But yeah, he's, he's, at one point, he's sitting there with this little book of like, because he's kept he has track. Yeah, do you want to do? Oh, it's yeah. right oh, there. Oh, oh, oh. Read the quote. It's the, I had a book. Oh. Do it in your map lord voice. I had a book, <laughs> and I wrote in it every time I got laid. Dick journal. <laughs> and that book has about 300 names now, not counting prostitutes and <laughs> such from Paris, Amsterdam, and Rome. I got crabs from the one in Rome. <laughs> I have you a dick bitch. book, too. You, you have a, a dick book? <laughs> I have a dick book. <clears throat> really? Book is it dick? just pictures? Is it a collage of it's, Brendan Fraser's dick? It's a coloring book. Oh. And every time oh. I have that, that you yourself. A yeah, I draw. No, when I was in college, I By would flashlight write down tent. the names, and then I would write notes next to the person oh. I had sex oh, with. Oh, my. Like, one, it would be like, first Jewish person I fucked. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I have a... I have a Hey. <laughs> You're quite the little Paul Ar- Arneson. Paul Harrison. Paul Harrison. 
That one's not hard. It's not. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> but yeah, it's just him. And it's it's the old man going through his book and like like looking like, oh yeah, she was a spicy one right there. She was. Oh, except for that whore in Rome that gave me crabs. Oh no. I still love that whore. I still have those crabs. Yeah, um, my pussy diary. I haven't written in it yet. <laughs> it's the blank. Blank slate. Aww, Help sad. me! <laughs> it's just cut it off! It has one word. Someday. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jenna, we got, a, we got another Starts, quote. Dear Diary, nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping today will be the day. <laughs> will I need my Harley Quinn? Aww. <laughs> All right, Jenna, you see, the, you see yeah, where we are? Visitor. Cool. When visitors walk into the penis museum in Iceland and they first set eyes on Elmo and uh, see this relatively large, erect penis with an American design. <laughs> I forgot he got the text. Stars and stripes, red, white, and blue. I'd like them to, uh, to know that the largest and best one of the entire collection came from the States which is patriotic, but I also want people to, uh, I guess, take a moment and contemplate how they feel about themselves. <laughs> <laughs> this guy thinks Tom about Mitchell, like, the American. Philosophical on us. By Tom Mitchell. Oh, Maybe if he American. didn't get the fucking U.S. flag <laughs> tattoo, he could have got the dick in quicker. Yep. You're, you're, well, there, there's a couple more here. I want to do something that makes a statement and makes people feel good and, and uh, actually breaks through um ceilings and barriers <laughs> and and let mankind in general move forward. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you dude, know? it's yeah. just your dick. I'm going to land my dick like on the, the moon. Rosa Parks of American <laughs> cock. <laughs> Oh, here we are Jesus. to the dick tattoo. Oh, here oh we no. Tom is getting his dick tattooed. <laughs> that poor artist. Tom is babbling at the poor guy while he's doing the most awkward tattoo of his life. So, this tattoo you're doing will be around, um, theoretically for thousands of years. Maybe the one and only tattoo you do in your whole career. That will be here hundreds of years Jesus. from now. And the guy's yeah. just like, Zzz. Yeah. yeah. Well, he uh -huh. makes this tight lipped yeah, excuse I'm for a, a smile. He's just like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I'm having a good time tattooing your weird, wrinkly old Your wrinkly dick skin. It's slightly oh, harder like as he keeps both of them. It's a little American flag oh, in the dick, tip. I want to Google dick tattoos now for some reason. Well, look well, them up. Look, look up Tom Mitchell. So, yeah, the you know, whole rest you'll of see the, the day. You know what this made me think about, though? When I go to the dentist, so I have a tattoo on my lip. They fucking lose their shit. They're like, oh, is that just for us? You do? <laughs> wow. yeah, that was, I never knew that. Yeah, it's a shine. It used it to. It says dick. I can't see it from here, but I want to <laughs> look a, at it later. It's a insert. So, place dick but now I'm thinking, like, if he goes to the dick doctor, are they like, oh, you got that tattoo just, just for, for us? us. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, just no, the I dick doctor. from my country. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I'm going to the dick doctor. Uh, this is the most important. My dick broke again. <laughs> He's making I, I weird also, noises. Honka, honka. I, I like that. Like in this first one thing he's talking about uh, when visitors walk into the penis museum and they see Elmo and they see this relatively large erect penis. Like you're you're not gonna have a boner, right? Like, how does he expect it to be like rock like, is hard? Like someone gonna when be like be rocking him off on his desk? Well, well, no, well, that's right because he'll be alive. That dick is stuffed. <laughs> It's a stuffed dick. Um, well, so that's good. I'm glad you bring it up because even though okay. Siggy told him no, no. Tom Mitchell, no. the American, is having a display case made for his dick. Yeah, he's just a pushy asshole. Remember that he's shit? Just, yeah, he I drew do. out his own fucking uh, blueprints for his own dick display case, and he's having it made. And he's there talking to the guy, the art artisan, who's making his dick case for him. Yeah, he's so, like, you ever make, you ever uh, make a, a, a case for to for house a penis like this before? Also, grotesque, by the way. He wants it mounted. He, so here's what, like, the way he had it drawn out. Mounted like a deer's head, but also kind of like a bird on a perch with the oh, balls God. dangling, pubes stretched upward, penis mm. erect and thrusting forward, mirror on the bottom to get a full view of his <laughs> balls. Oh, you know, oh, very yeah. three-dimensional yeah. experience. Yeah. Maybe a bald eagle just soaring. Yeah. <laughs> well, Kid read the fireworks in the background. <laughs> Empty Bud Light platinum cans all around yeah. the sculpture. Fucking well, he's, monster truck he said, jumping over it. When he's talking to the guy, he said he actually says, quote, pubic hair that I want harvested at the same time. I'm like, harvested? 
Yeah, har- I'm harvesting. a I'm a pubic hair harvester. Um, I make blankets out of pubic skin. Sheep pubes. It really just uh, kind of depends on the customer need. But like right now, I'm really into pubic hair blankets, pubic hair <laughs> hats, shawls. No, um, I'm actually, John Kerry Eskimo pubes here. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Fuck Eskimo. Never we, Eskimos. Yeah. We don't. But do Eskimo that. was a haul. <laughs> <laughs> can you? Can you say, I don't think you can say Eskimo anymore. No, you can't. Why? Shit. No, no. No, it's, yeah, they're like that, Inuits, aren't they? I, well, I, 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 I think it's a pretty rant, I think it's a pretty broad word for like a whole bunch it of is, there's. Yeah. So yeah, it's just it, a broadly racist word. It's from like saying, well, it's, it's like, like saying, Orientals. Yeah, like oh, those Orientals. Oh, what Orientals. Wacky <laughs> things are they getting into? <laughs> like, yeah, a 90, it's a no-no. Ninety-five-year-old slut. So you know. Uh-huh. All right. Oh, this is so. Tom is really starting to piss Siggy off. Like, you can see, he's, Siggy is starting to get pissed. Um, Tom says, if he don't, oh, this is fucking awesome. Tom tells Siggy that if he donates his penis to the museum, that he does want it back during the off season. <laughs> what, is he going to, like, freaking, like, strap it on? I probably, I don't know. Uh, he's got, like, a baby pack and just puts it right there. <laughs> like, in the front. <laughs> takes it to Starbucks. Uh, latte for Elmo? Elmo? <laughs> yeah. Oh, so, that's over here. That's over here. <laughs> right here. Tom is concerned that his penis might not look erect enough in the display. He seeks out something called plastination. He's got these these fucking doctors developing new he's polymers. Around the clock. So they, because <laughs> he's got to be careful about shrinkage, and he makes doctors build a mobile lab to come from Italy to the United States Jesus. to plastinate his dick. Ziggy is fucking flabbergasted. Who's Ziggy? He's driving me crazy, you know. <laughs> Dude, he's not Italian. He's not Italian. He's not Italian. I'm a Ziggy. Yeah, more Fjord to Fjord. I don't know, man. I can't. You do Ziggy. Think he was driving me crazy, you know. Yeah, more Fjord to Fjord. He was driving me crazy, you know. I was having two or three emails a day, whole pages of discussion about his organ. Uh, he's always sending me photos of Elmo in all kinds of situations with a Santa Claus cap, Abraham Lincoln as a Viking. He feels I'm rejecting his endless discussion about Elmo. He put his penis in a hat to the beard. More like Abraham (laughs) Dinklin, am I right? Oh my god. So now here's now here's Tom. Patent penning, patent penning, patent penning. I don't know what I would ever use that for, but Well you'll use it. When after Abraham Dinklin. When uh. I first contacted Siggy, he was cordial. In fact, <laughs> he was enthusiastic and uh, did the letter of donation to him, and he wanted some photos. And I sent him some photos, and he wanted to know if I could get a plastic model made. And I said, as a matter of fact, I already had one. And I sent that to him, and he was all excited. But here, more recently, he's not communicating well. I'm beginning to think that he's wanting to give preference to the Icelander or someone else, and that he's just, uh, that his enthusiasm has fallen off to zero. Tom Mitchell <laughs> Tom as the American. American. Got and this then, badass tattoo for nothing? <laughs> and the next scene is everyone's getting sad because Paul's penis well, is shrinking. Oh no, they yeah. cut it off. Let's oh, go. No. They, Paul, your penis a, is shrinking. There's a scene the with Ziggy. The penis is illegal now. <laughs> there's a scene with Ziggy like tying Paul, helping Paul put his shoes on. Um, and Paul is starting to reconsider. He's like, it has shrunk all of it. Yeah, oh, it's no. this really sad. As he lays in a nursing home yeah. bed, staying, I, staring into the distance. Uh, he, like, seriously, he's in a nursing home bed. He's laying on his side. I he's could just have crabs he's, again one day. He's just, he, as he's staring off, and he, it just kind of zooms in, and he, he's, he's it, where, shit, where it is has it? shrunk. All it has it. shrunk. All of it. It's sad. Oh, it's sad. It's really Aww. sad. Too and shrunk. That... <laughs> you know, I gotta. I want to say, like, like this dude's sending him emails, sending Siggy emails every single day. Every day. It's like, and Paul is their friend, and they're he's watching just him getting, die. He's and they're getting, watching his penis shrink. Right. He's getting just general, like when you get fucking spammed shit all the time. You're like, fuck penis this envy. place. Fuck you, Guitar Center. I don't need a fucking email. Yeah. Every single day about your Fourth of July sale. Fuck off. So. <laughs> well, some of us do. Yeah, well, it's. Like, I mean, I get it. It's just. It's not him like like being a mean. It's just him getting frustrated by like, dude, fucking back the fuck off. Jeez. Well, Tom Mitchell wants his penis cut off right now. I want now. It cut off now. He goes to see a genital specialist who tells him she can't remove healthy body parts for no good reason. You know, Hippocratic oath and but all I that. Know a guy. Um, but Tom only he only hears what he wants 
to be told. So he says he has strictures that make it hard for him to pee, so it's okay medically to cut it off. Can't plus, pee right. plus <laughs> he's vulnerable to the wiles of manipulative women, so ah! he's probably better off without it. Mm-hmm. Something. That's uh, a good problem to have. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> You I'll ever have I'll give yourself. you a dick for me, you see? <laughs> you, you ever feel yourself being vulnerable to the wiles of manipulative women? All right. <laughs> I do it all the time in my link. I just think I, uh, I just see my dick one day, stars and stripes, just hanging in that museum. Uh, <laughs> Thank you so much. I saw the most ridiculous <laughs> Lincoln commercial. It was Matthew McConaughey. Ice fishing. Ice fishing. Yeah. In the middle oh, of fucking it. like nowhere, and he's just hanging out <laughs> in the back of his Lincoln. What does that have to do with cars, ice fishing? Nothing. Okay. And Matthew McConaughey has never gone ice fishing. Everybody who buys a Lincoln goes ice fishing right. with it. Well, he'd really? have to wear a shirt. I mean, I would imagine he wouldn't like to wear a shirt. Yeah, true. And would probably be constrictive. There's too many liars. All right, now we have kind of a back and forth. Like, it's Tom Mitchell, Ziggy, Tom Mitchell, Ziggy. Okay. Tom. Ready uh, Evan, this. you take Ziggy. I'm reading tons. Right. I, w- I don't want to read everything the whole time. It's going to be Italian. Right, that's fine. <laughs> it's yeah! an Italian Icelandic hey! man who learned Hell Spanish yeah. in Scotland. Yeah. Hey, a pizza pie. <laughs> <laughs> that's racist. <laughs> yeah. All right. Something has happened that I'm not aware of must have for him to suddenly show complete lack of interest and a lack of respect. To me, it's frustrating. It's discouraging. It's a little unsettling. And frankly, it kind of pisses me off. And if he thinks I'm the problem, I can't understand this because what did he expect of me? (laughs) If he's not interested enough to respond... I'm not interested enough to go any further with him. That's all. Nah, I'm not the problem. He is the problem. He's the donor. He must decide on what to do. (laughs) I think I need to check out other possible venues to display Elmo. And I know that there are other possibilities in the world, so I think I need to check those out. But it needs to be a credible location. So then Siggy draws up a document donating his own penis upon his death. And then Paul dies in his sleep. Good on you, Paul. Good on you, Paul. Do you think he, he Paul. had a wet dream? R.I.P. Oh, I, yeah. I hope he died in his sleep while he was having a wet dream. Yeah. That is the way to Crabs. go. Banging that Roman whore. It was. <laughs> Crabs. <laughs> <laughs> they give Paul's remains to Ziggy beautifully wrapped. Oh. And they wrote a poem. It goes, and, and this is translated from Icelandic. I'm sure it rhymed when it was in Icelandic. Mm-hmm. Um, a famous penis here we have that for a long time will be preserved. Paul has now passed away, but he's not nearly forgotten. On the seas of his victorious life, his wide open sails kept him going nonstop. While someone adores boldness, Paul's reputation will live on. That's beautiful. Yeah. Well, Ziggy <laughs> hustled. It, 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 was, it was starts ni- with a famous <laughs> penis. It was it yeah. was nice. It was like there were like three or a couple of guys. Like uh, Ziggy got all like dudeed up. He put he on did. Like, he some went nice to clothes and suit, drove all the way. It was it was kind of sad part of the movie too because yeah, their friend had passed away. This, but he got a dick penis. Off a good friend. And, yeah. Yeah. So basically, the instrumental he shows version up. of my heart will go on. Yeah. Aww, in the exactly. Aww, he shows up and there's two of his buddies and they're all kind of like big. Everybody's got big smiles on. They've got this uh, little bucket wrapped in blue they foil. All got, kind of. They all got mm, Paul's beautiful. penis stories. Oh, I yeah. remember no, one sure. time I saw him fuck a Roman. <laughs> <laughs> one time, Paul and I, back in the day, we were in Amsterdam, as you do, <laughs> when in Rome, <laughs> we had sex with whores, and Paul got cra- Oh, wait, no, that was, that was Rome, right? <laughs> Is that where Paul got the crabs? Yeah. <laughs> well, and I'm well, just imagining he's just like dead still on that tarp with his oh, dick out oh no, god no he's not on the tarp anymore they got he's him out so of there uncomfortable looking I would be uncomfortable but much less being a 98 year old man sprawled out on a tarp <laughs> with cold uh, just, just cut it off <laughs> Well, Ziggy hustled that penis right into his workshop. He doesn't even bother to take off his bow tie or nice sweater. He was tickled to see that Paul's penis met the five-inch mark after all. It's legal! Legal Legal limit! said it was one of the greatest days of his life, and he does truly, truly look happy. So now we know why... A kid in a candy store. ...why Paul's 
penis was left cold, it was because he died in his sleep. Mm. It wasn't because they he weren't trying to take care of his penis properly. They, they just, just didn't know. They didn't know. Yeah, right. they, they just know. didn't know. Like they but, were, th- there was a whole thing where they're all like sitting around, like drinking some kind of Icelandic booze and like trying to figure out the best way to keep his dick warm and like like <laughs> pump it full of like fluids and stuff. And well, here's the thing, though. None of that happened. So now someone's going to have to break the news to Tom Mitchell, Tom's the American. Be oh no! And this is that phone call, word for word. Hello. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Siggy. Yes? This is Tom Mitchell calling from California. Oh, hi. Uh, how are you? <laughs> I'm fine. How are you? I'm fine. I'm, I'm, a, I'm fine. You know, we haven't I, talked I, for a... I, I, the, the things are happening here. Things are happening here. Yeah. With What's Mr. going Harris on? And the old guy. You did what now? He would have been the first Icelander, and there would be no room for the first. No, there, there will still be room. But there still be room for the first foreigner. <laughs> okay, you got a Mr. Air Arisons donation. Hey, you. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so you have actually gotten his penis penis yet, or... Yes! You got it? We'll be formally announced on Friday. Okay, is it, is it just his penis or testicles, too? I know, testicles are scrolling and everything, yup. <laughs> <laughs> What was that again? Huh? I, I didn't understand you. I guess I got this and everything, yeah. Long pause. Very, Very. long pause. Okay. Flash to Tom just sitting on a chair with his head in his hand. Sunlight filters through the living oh room of God. disappointment. And scene. Yeah, it, it's pretty good. Uh, cool. Fuck you, Mitchell. Uh, <laughs> suck it. <laughs> suck a dick, Mitchell. I can say suck your own dick, suck Mitchell. Your own dick. Oh, so that's the that's the movie. That's the, the documentary. Should we take a uh, <laughs> should we take a dick before? We <laughs> can we get... take a dick break? Can we take a dick now, <laughs> please? Take a yeah. small dick break. No, no, that's, that's, that's racist. Let's take a small dick break before we get into the specimens. Dicks, dicks, uh, dicks. Through the dicks. <laughs> dicks and Does both anyone want to see my cock? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no. Sh- Sean, Sean Connery. I'm sorry I interrupted your Alcoholics Anonymous meeting. I will leave now. <laughs> Sean Connery, the ultimate cocksmith. Oh. I do love the way you wrapped a razor eyebrow to do that impression. <laughs> yeah. It's like you're, it's your jumping off. Does yeah. anyone in this Denny's restaurant want to see my cock? <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here, Sean. Get out of here, Connery. Uh, <laughs> go, <laughs> pay for your grand oh, slam gosh. first. Go home, you're erect. <laughs> Get that thing out of my hash browns. You know browns. what I call my cock? What? The Highlander. Because <laughs> there's only one. There can only be one. There can only be one. Uh, dick humor. <laughs> <laughs> dick joke. Dick joke. <laughs> so back to the dicks. Did we ever really leave the dicks? No. Did we ever stop leave. the dicks? Once you start, you never stop. Stop the exactly. wieners. It's like they just like, kept on coming until they never done. And we, they're like Lay's potato chips, am I right? You just can't eat You got to just one. keep munching. You can't just eat one. You got to keep putting those <laughs> dicks in your mouth. It's like a Pringle and you pat the fun stone stop. You know what I haven't said yet? Mm-hmm. What? That you ate a quarter once? No. <laughs> yeah, your parents had to sift through it. Hey, you know? did I ever tell you guys the story? Because you did tell when, us when I, I ate a quarter. <laughs> and my parents had to look through my poo. No, I haven't said. <laughs> They're poor. <laughs> <laughs> your parents are poor. Your parents are coming up. <laughs> did we you eat another want, quarter? We just wanted a can of Dinty more, okay? So what haven't you said? Yeah, what haven't you said? I'll suck a dick. Oh. oh. 
Oh, okay, now we're back, baby. Now we're We're back. back. We're back. Official. (laughs) So, uh, all together, the collection contains 282 specimens from 93 different species of animals, both foreign and domestic, as well as, my favorite, folklore specimens. (laughs) So there's almost three per Three per specimen. Approximately. I don't know. Math is hard. Math is hard when it's Sean like Connery's cock is out. 400 decks. Is it like 400? I don't know. I don't know. It's like a lot of It's like of a bag decks. of dicks. It's a whole bag uh, of them. That's it's dick like right at a frat house again. Dick math. The vast array of penises include those from various whales, dolphins and porpoises, yes. narwhal, Hell walrus, yeah. multiple seals, polar bear, that one rogue polar bear, yeah. <laughs> goat, horse, oh. ram, <laughs> reindeer, bull, dog, cat, mink, various mice, mice and rats. Mice <laughs> They're too, very small. Foxes, boars, pigs, human, rabbit, guinea pig, hamster, gerbil, Gerbil dick! <laughs> gerbil dick. <laughs> Polecat, raccoon. <laughs> Dog, shrew, badger, wallaby, otter, wallaby, no, wallaby, wallaby wall- dick. <laughs> otter, wolverine, elephant, coyote, wolf, black bear, baboon, baboon, dick. <laughs> squirrelers, beaver, elk, possum, kangaroo, giraffe, weasel, zebra, and armadillo, to name a few. Dude, you gotta, you gotta say this like Billy Mays. You do, I don't know. I don't Hi, know. Billy Mays here, <laughs> and I'm here at the Icelandic Phallological Museum. We got 282 dicks here. We got polar bear dick. Goat dick, mice dick, guinea pig dick, hamster dick. Did someone say possum dick? <laughs> Is that even possible? Uh, <laughs> imagine uh, the possibilities. Uh, oh Woo! The largest penis on exhibit. Do you want to do this as Billy Mays? The largest penis. The largest penis on the exhibit is the tip of a blue whale penis measuring 67 inches and weighing 150 pounds. In its full glory, it was 16 feet long and weighed between 770 and 990 pounds. The smallest penis is the hamster penis at 0.08 inches and requires a magnifying glass to see it. So back to when Ziggy is being bullied, they're they're shoving <laughs> sixty pounds of whale dick in his that's face. What I, yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's like a three hey, or four hey. person. Oh, hey there, ju- Ziggy, you little bitch. Yeah, it's just got to a make dick in your face. Just oh, to make Irish fun of a guy. It seems like a lot of follow through on yeah. a joke, but <laughs> mm, worth it. Uh, worth what else it. are they gonna do? <laughs> uh, Jenna, you asked earlier how how Ziggy displays his dicks. Oh yes. So he uh, Ziggy displays his dicks in a variety of ways. Some are hollowed. Some are salted. Mm, I love a salted dick with a nice, <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice soft mock and some grapes. <laughs> some are dried and put on a wooden plaque. Mm. Others are, are hollowed, filled with silicone, and placed on a wooden plaque. Some are some float eternally in formalin. <laughs> some are pickled. Ooh, pickled dick. I'll pickle that. Yeah. Some some yeah, give the top of dick, dick is actually pickled. <laughs> 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 pickled dick. <laughs> it's a weird like it's a weird. They, I, I love all of it. Dick whittling, pickle dick. It mm-hmm. all just it flows off. It really the, flows off my it tongue. Does. You they know, they really roll off <laughs> the <laughs> tongue. <laughs> they just <laughs> la, 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 la. Some, some get a little weirder, like Ed Gein kind of weird. Okay. My favorite kind of weird. <laughs> uh, like the goat scrotum that was dried and expanded, or the three horse penises flavored with salt, sage, thyme, dill, nutmeg, rosemary, oregano, and wow. marjoram. Wow. I find just a pinch of rosemary on a horse penis really increases the wrinkling. <laughs> I feel I feel like goat scrotum is a guy you buy really shitty ditch wheat Goat scrotum! <laughs> hey, hey. You got any wheat? No, call goat scrotum. You want that bag? You want, you want goat scrotum? Some some shakes. Like ditch I'm goat scrotum. Want some <laughs> shake? Yeah, want some shake? Want some shake? Want some shake? It's not even yeah. shake, it's shake. It's just that, it's so bad. It's fucking oregano. It's called choke. It's gonna choke on this shit. Your coffee's gonna get you high. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Uh, Oh, really? This reminds me of weed. In high school, someone sold, I think, my little brother a bag of oregano. Yeah. Okay. Classic. Okay, back back to to it because it was fucking... Goat scrotum sold it to him. Yeah. Well, yeah. Old goat, goat scrotum. Scr- goat gotcha. scrotum will fuck you. He'll fuck you over, honey. Every, Every time. time. You'll learn now, you'll learn later. Yeah. <laughs> uh, another weird one. <laughs> another weird one is the skin of a ram scrotum, which was made into a purse. The skin oh. of a ram scrotum. <laughs> and all the lampshades. Which I made into a purse. <laughs> all the lampshades made from ram scrotum. All right, we're getting very geeny now. Yeah. I very they have one that was made from the from ten ram scrotums. 
skins. It's a big lampshade. Do they stretch well? I've never made one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, come to the local co-op. We're doing ram scrotum. Ram scrotum uh, lampshades. Lampshades. Today. Leave us a comment below if you've stretched a now. ram scrotum into a light shade. <laughs> lampshade. Now we're going to leave these ram scrotums in the sun to soak and dry for the next several hours. Mm -hmm. While we're doing that, we're going to extract a penis from a bat. <laughs> <laughs> They're tricky because they'll bite you. <laughs> a weird workshop. So, someone took a bull's penis, salted, dried it, and turned it into a walking stick. Who's someone? I, I don't know. Randy. Who his friends are. <laughs> Randy. Hey, 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 Siggy! I got this bull's penis. I put a little salt, I dried it, and I turned it into a stick. Do you want it? <laughs> someone made a flagpole out of a bull's penis. Ooh. Flagpole. Yeah. That's a, that is a big bull. It's a big dong. <laughs> they more, more bull penis whips and bring back the lampshades. Mm. Lots and lots of ball it's sack lampshades. It, that was so last fall. <laughs> they have albino guinea pig balls, I which I don't, those. you don't see them. <laughs> That's a delicacy. <laughs> yeah, they're like caviar, man. It's mm. like, brrr, you got to get a whole bring jar of them. Really expensive. Of albino guinea pig balls. These are delicious. <laughs> These are wonderful. <laughs> The, the museum is also adorned with all of Siggy's dick whittlings, um, as well as other forms of penis art, such as an 18th century engraving depicting the circumcision of Christ. Hell uh, yeah. Oh, 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 shit. I cut off his dick. Okay. Uh, uh, bleeding. Stop the bleeding. Blade. <laughs> And a 20th century plastic penis pacifier, but I think oh. you can just get those at a bachelorette party. Yeah, yeah. You're at like Spencer's. that is not. Those it's like aren't when you're special. rolling at EDM. What would Siggy say at about an American bachelorette party? Would he be like pleased yeah. or upset? Would, I don't know. Would he be like, "This is blasphemy"? I feel like he this would be looking at them and saying, penis. "Like." Uh, frustrated if the proportions were in inaccurate, or maybe the material. Oh, that we're so you using. think he'd be like pontificating on like. You know, he's like, this is not an accurate this penis. This is a ridiculous size I've penis. I've seen 292 penises, different kinds of penises I've I know. enormous inflatable penises all out of kilter. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Ridiculous. I've seen Dick. a Jonah Falcon's <laughs> penis, and I must say, I was not impressed. <laughs> oh, of course you weren't, Sean Cockery. <laughs> so this, the whole reason... That I did this in the first place is because of the mythological specimens. They have folklore penises. They I'm just have imagining yeah. a bunch of fiddles, like, <laughs> and then just like an elf, like, <laughs> I'm an elf That's an Ireland. The Ridiculous <laughs> castrated elf dancing <laughs> with a big bandage This is the dance of crotch. the castrated elf. We do not have our wieners anymore. <laughs> We gave them up the science. <laughs> <laughs> and now we make your toys. <laughs> so the first one is the Icelandic elf, or the hidden man. <laughs> you can't find me. The Latin for that is Homo sapiens obscurus. What the uh, fuck? fuck? And that's a middle-aged, it was a middle-aged elf. They found that penis in 1989. How do they know he was middle-aged? I was, don't know! He was Just driving a Ferrari around. <laughs> you know the other thing about elf penises? That's what? Like, I don't. No, what? It's, 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 I know four invisible. things. Please tell me a fifth. <laughs> they're invisible. Oh, yeah. They're all you. Uh, so he's got these invisible Where'd I leave it? Elf you see my elf penis? God. <laughs> Have you seen my, my... You should put it in the same place every time. <laughs> my huska ubu. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely a huska ubu. Yes. You're like feeling around. You're like, where the heck like, is the you, elf you penis? You get up to get a drink of water and you step on it. <laughs> oh, oh, like, oh, there it is. Oh, there's my it. invisible elf penis. Cat got it again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm choking on my own spit. So they have the penis of a kelpie yeah, or a, <laughs> a water horse, if you will. This is an adult. One, it was caught in the lake of Catanus Cat Cat in southwest Iceland in 1998. So I, I do like to know that. Horse <laughs> cock. <laughs> they have uh, the penis of a foxy cat, which Ooh, is a nice. mixture of a fox and a cat. Oh, that's and a they fox. also have the penis of a catafox. What? Which is also the mixture of a cat and a what fox. What is going on yeah. right now? So a fox, a cat, the father is a fox and the mother is a cat, but in a cat, a fox, I the cat a is a fox. I foxy cat. <laughs> <laughs> she gave me crabs. <laughs> I love that. Uh, <laughs> so the first one was found dead, and the, the catafox was found dead in um, 
in North Iceland in 1876, but donated in 1952. Who the so they, they, pres- they yeah. who had that <laughs> cock for nine years? <laughs> yeah, Someone sat in an attic for a while. <laughs> Imaginary penis. Forever. Someone's cleaning out grandma's uh, yeah attic and just grandma, like what is what in that is little this box? Thing? Oh, you touched it! It's my catafox. Penis. Shut up! We're putting you in the home if you like it or not. <laughs> the second one they caught. You don't need this fox catafox penis, yeah, grandma. Do. You're not taking it with you. You can't take it with you. They won't. They won't let it in there. The second catafox penis. They caught it in a trap in 1893 and donated it in 1991. So that one was also held on to for 100 100 years. years. Wow. It's better aged. (laughs) Just like the salted dick horse. Rosemary. (laughs) It's a marjoram. End of oregano. They have the penis of a sea howler. Yeah, ah. sea howler. Oh. Oh. <laughs> sea howler, that's definitely a, ba- a local band. <laughs> it's an Icelandic sea monster. They Ooh. caught that penis in the late 17th century, but donated in 1983, <laughs> so they had that penis for that's the last time I caught yeah, I feel like a lot of, hundreds of years. I feel like a lot of these were just sitting around in people's houses, and, and Ziggy, like, Get, I am dusty. putting a penis museum together. If, if anybody's got dicks laying around. If you do have fictional around, creature dicks, please donate them. Send them my <laughs> way. Send them my way. I will nail them to a piece of wood and hang them up. <laughs> a goodwill, but for cocks. <laughs> yeah. Well, this, this next one, it really solves a it's mystery called, for me. It's called Good Cock. Merman. <laughs> they have the penis of a merman, so I guess uh, I always wondered because you know mer people have the fish bodies. Yeah. So, so where is their I dick under their armpit? I, maybe under their scales. Mm. You gotta lift the scales and, up to find the treasure. And then it's like. Uh, so this merman was caught on a fishing line off the southwest coast. Oh, I fell for it. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so Southwest Coast in late 18th century, it was donated in 1986, supposedly from the merman who was seen at Hellnar on the Snifflessness Peninsula <laughs> in, in 1879. The merman at Hellnar is a whore. They made a bunch of things from it, I guess, and then they donated it in 2004. Oh. It's so confusing. Yeah. I don't get these timelines, these Mutilate, dick timelines. The mutilated merman piece. <laughs> we'll catch the penis now. And then in two hundred years, it'll be in so. a museum. They have the penis of. I a bet pe- it was shiny and like. Glistening. You, yeah. yeah uh, like sequined. Yes. Yeah. That's yeah. the way I'm picturing it. Bedazzled. They have the penis of a beach walker, which beach is. Beach walker. Oh. Yeah. Beach walker, take thy penis. <laughs> Which is found in Southeast Iceland in 1848 by Jörn Mignishin, who is said to be truthful, respectable, restrained, and acceptably intelligent. Good to know <laughs> details about the man, really, covering up on his penis finding. What is, so he's not walker? Good. Is that just a guy walking on the beach and they took his dog? Hey. Yes. <laughs> yeah. No, the guy, the guy who found it, he was truthful and respectable and restrained and acceptably intelligent. Well, I know. Acceptably I, intelligent. So he's not going to pull about the beach walker. I think it's like a dog. He's He's not going to pull your dick. He's going to fucking... Oh, yeah, because the Latin is Aries... (laughs) He found this. It's truthful. Well, uh, the Latin for beach walker is Aries canis conchacus maritimus. So the Aries would be ram, canis would be uh, dog... Conchecas, I think, is just... uh, (laughs) I'm not sure that's Latin. And maritimus means sea. Oh, look at um, this Latin. Yeah, look at this Latin lady blatting it up. Listen to you. I like th- Latin lady. <laughs> the Latin beach murderer, lady. which is Homo unepus unimanus at Luscus maritimus. And this is one's cool. It's a one legged, one armed, one eyed human monster who tries to push people into the sea. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> and they have his penis. Uh-huh. So it's a guy who's been cut in half who just lays around on the beach. You've been pushing too many people <laughs> in the sea. <laughs> now, we- <laughs> now we have your wiener. Hee <laughs> hee. Tee-hee. They have the penis of a sea bull <laughs> from Bjorn the Mighty, a farmer. Bjorn East the Mighty. <laughs> Bjorn the Mighty. Everybody's got awesome names. Here. I know. They have a they have a troll penis. It's yeah. from a young boy. Oh, it's a young boy penis. Third troll. I think those are illegal to have. <laughs> troll boy. Yeah. I've been looked into it. So. I've done some research. <laughs> I've been busted. I've once googled or twice. at a few public libraries time to time. Young boy troll penis. <laughs> boy troll penis. I've seen the troll oh. penis. And an alarm display. just goes off at my computer. Yeah. The troll penis is actually—it's not one of the invisible ones. It's oh. actually. Damn it. 
it's really pudgy oh. and and swarthy and it's nailed <laughs> swarthy and it's nailed to pudgy a, swarthy it looks kind of mossy and it's okay. nailed nailed to a wooden just a plank of wood everything in that place was just, <laughs> just what nailed just, yeah just mossy stretched and, and nailed and it is new. salted and <laughs> dried it's, it's and weird it's a weird pickled. place um, I don't know what it smells like in there they have the penis of a Yernvik girler, which was killed in Nadigil by Yern Bjornsson, a tenant farmer in Gjörsjörler. Yern Bjornsson. Gjörsjörler in East Iceland. Yeah. But here we are to my favorite, you guys. They have the penis of an Icelandic Christmas lad. Oh. Do tell. Just a little uh, lad. <laughs> okay, so Icelandic Christmas. I actually de- dug a little deeper into the Icelandic Christmas lads. What they are. Um, is there, there's, there's 12 Icelandic Christmas lads. They'll come out at Christmas time. We are the 12 Icelandic Christmas lads. You're going to love this, Evan. <laughs> Please don't take our wieners. <laughs> <laughs> um, so their mom is named Grilla. And, Grilla. She, and she eats naughty kids. Mm. As one does. And Grilla <laughs> has a huge cat named Yurla Kyrtirin. And mm-hmm. the cat eats kids who don't get new clothes for Christmas. <laughs> it's like it's their fault. If you don't get the new clothes, the cat will eat you. <laughs> Your lacurturian will eat you. Iceland is so fucking weird. Yeah. Um, so it's would lost. parents like deliberately not give their kids new clothes just in to hopes? To get rid of them. Yeah. Just in yeah. hopes. All right. So there are 12 Christmas lads. And I'm going to read their, their, their Icelandic name and their English name. Okay. Okay. So we have we have stick our shirt, <laughs> which is the sheep coat clod. I thought oh. you were gonna say which is Carl. <laughs> <laughs> we have Gilzagur, which is gully gawk. Oh, gully gawk rolls off the tongue. Oh, the gully gawk. We have Stürfer, <laughs> whose English translation is stubby. Mm. This um, one's stubby. <laughs> this one. Yeah, we don't hang out with it much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now you're just being racist. <laughs> and that's the spoon liquor. Oh, <laughs> spoon yeah. liquor! They all have different jobs. They do different things. I'm not sure what the sheep Well, I know co- what spoon what liquor does. Yes, spoon liquor is pretty <laughs> dubby do. <laughs> hey, I'm stubby. My name is Stubby. Stubby yeah. here, you need any help? <laughs> no, we're good, Stubby. Get out of here, Stubby. Nobody likes you. He's really short. Oh, is that a spoon you got there? <laughs> <laughs> I got all these dirty spoons. What can I do with them? Call no, it the that's spoon that's liquor. Nice. <laughs> that's pure for sleek cure. Um, then we have Potaskefir, which is the pot scraper. Oh, very <laughs> useful. Pot scraper. Pot scraper. We have Askasleekir. Which is the bowl liquor. Ooh. So it's basically somebody who doesn't want to do their fucking dishes. And just... No, they're not good. You don't want the Christmas lads. You gotta hide can't, your bowl. Can't the you gotta spoon put your liquor also away. be the bowl liquor? We need two. <laughs> yeah, no, can one's a, a scraper, one's a liquor. Can't a bowl oh, be a really good There's another liquor. Like, well, they, uh, there's not another liquor. There's some gobblers. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> and some sniffers. Yeah, four gobblers. <laughs> I was listening to the tale of Grilla and the Christmas lads. Um, How I didn't drunk finish it. were they when they Wrote this yeah, shit. It's just insane. So, like, if you're not, if you don't behave as a kid, then um, Grilla sends the Christmas lads to your house, and it's not good. <laughs> oh, no, like you don't. Add, it, like at first, add, the add, sheep add. coat clods and comes and fucks your sheep. Apparently, <laughs> <laughs> then you got the gully gawk guy. Gully gawk guy. Gonna God do. knows what he's gonna do. <laughs> he's got stubby with him. <laughs> Uh, so hey, uh, you need you need help there, Gully Gawk? <laughs> <laughs> nope, nope, Stubby, I got this covered. Just gonna gully this gawk over here. <laughs> I just wanna help. Nope, it's fine, Stubby. Go help that that pot licking guy over there. Uh, Stubby, go lick some spoons. <laughs> <laughs> no, so the so the bowl licker is ask us lick your, The then we have Hirda Eskular. Which is the door slammer? Oh. I like him. Yep. Oh, you're just you're gonna like more later. Just wait. He's you just save it. Save angrily, it. Angrily. angrily. <laughs> we have Skier Gamir, who is a, a skier gobbler. He's a skier gobbler. Yeah. Oh, so, skier is a type of yogurt. Oh, thank you, Jenna. Oh. Yeah, it's Icelandic yogurt. Oh, we didn't. Oh, so he's a he's yogurt, gobbler. yogurt gobbler. Yogurt that's gobbler. That's fantastic. Yeah. It's yogurt great gobbler. for dips. That's it's a okay. great dip base. We I did like not know scare. what that was. I feel like that's a dirty thing. Like a yogurt gob- gobbler. Gobbling yogurt. <laughs> hey, baby, let me gobble your yogurt. <laughs> I make yogurt. <laughs> I make it myself. <laughs> so he's he's the chunky one in the group. <laughs> maybe he yogurt all day, or maybe he's really fit. Oh yeah, he, like yeah, protein. Maybe he's really protein. health health mm-hmm. health conscious. Yeah, yeah. yeah protein. Have... <laughs> that's, that's why I do it. 
We have Bjorg Nickery here, and he's the sausage swiper. Ooh. Hey. Uh, yeah. Got sausage. your sausage. Whoop. Got your sausage. <laughs> Got your sausage. Whoop. Got your sausage. <laughs> Whoop. We have Bjorg Gager, who is the window peeper. Evan. <laughs> Oopsie. I don't know. This one might be Evan. It's now these again. We got letters that don't exist in some of these words. So we have and that's the doorway sniffer. Oh, <laughs> between the slammer and the hey, sniffer. Don't go well, through there. I'm glad the slammer. <laughs> trouble. You don't want the sniffer to come in when the slammer is right behind. Oh. You. No. Ah, my nose. <laughs> I'm just sitting here peacefully trying to sniff this doorway, and then the. Freaking slammer comes in. <laughs> they do not get Pow! Wrong. <laughs> right in the schnoz. This guy's really scary, apparently. At uh, Kate Kirker, and he's Meat Hook. He hangs out in, whoa, in, whoa. in meat sheds and. I knew a guy named Meat Hook once. Meat. What did he sell you, PCP? <laughs> <laughs> did he know goat scrotum? <laughs> meat Hook and goat scrotum. They're going to show meat. up at every party. Not want them there. I'm Meat Hook, I'm goat scrotum, and we're the best of friends. <laughs> <laughs> and apparently, everyone in Iceland's very favorite Christmas Yule lad is Kyrgyz Sneaker, and he's the candle beggar. Oh. Please, please give please, me so just give me the candles. candles. This is the that is the most insane shit <laughs> ever. All of these. That is like, like literally just like taking things I like think. like opening up dictionary like and chart, just like yeah. uh, boom and then uh, boom. Like your Spoon birth your birthday yeah. and your birth month. Yeah. And then that's It's decides. like a Wu Tang name generator. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're the spoon gobbler. Exactly. You're the dick guzzler. I don't know. Um, so uh, they have a they have an Icelandic Christmas lad. It was d- donated to them by the former mayor of Reyk- Reykjavik. So that's, oh, that's so an, you know it's official. That's an esteemed. It's dick. always a good sign when your mayor donates elf. Dick. <laughs> yeah, it is a troll dick. Yeah, it's true. They have. I, the I wish. It, I bet he like for a while it hung in his office like above him. <laughs> so whenever he walked in, it's just it's right there, just on that's a big good plaque. Luck. I wonder. Wait, which, which Christmas, Christmas lad, lad dick. was it? Uh, yeah, they 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 guessed. Nobody knows for sure which Aww. one it was. So we're we're not. Which one will we hope? Stubby. I hope it was Stubby. Stubby. Yeah. I do hope it was stubby. It's um, really girthy, but it's not very long. No. <laughs> <laughs> stubby one. Oh, God. All right, so we only have a few more. We've got the whirler. Whirler? They have the penis of a whirler, which is an Icelandic witch's familiar, killed in a sheep house. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, been there. Yeah, and Just story another day of on the do job. Not go in there. <laughs> they have the penis of a changeling. Oh. Which died on a farm in East Iceland. Okay. Unchristened. I suppose. So it's just somebody's baby <laughs> that like my yeah. dead dick. <laughs> well, changelings, I mean, that's kind of a messed up thing. They had a bunch of those in Ireland, right? Yeah. It was like, this isn't my baby, it's a false one. Yeah, Aww. changeling. This is a Throw it in the river. Baby. It's a I'd, baby. This baby cries too much. Throw it in the fire. Did you say a baby? <laughs> yeah. Like a fake baby. baby. It's a fake baby. It's a fake baby. I got fake baby. I don't want this baby. Get rid of it. Throw I'll... it in the fire. Keep us warm. <gasps> <laughs> Edit. Nah, leave it in there. Leave it in there. Baby, it's not real. <laughs> Fake baby. It's yeah, it's a baby. real baby. So uh, we're back to uh, we have the elf penis. Um, Latin for that is Homo sapiens mysticus invisibilis. So it's it's an invisible penis bone, yet it's unusually big. Of course. Yep. Okay. That's what I tell people. It was found <laughs> buried. I know you can't see it, but, but it's, it's really it's like usually big. Usually big. <laughs> it was found buried outside a churchyard in Skagasir, mm-hmm. Uh presumably from pagan times in Iceland. I found this invisible giant elf penis it's buried of years old. by a church. Um, for the record, Siggy says the elf's penis is one of his favorites. <laughs> it is described as unusually big and old what and cannot be seen <laughs> as everyone in Iceland knows that that elves and trolls are invisible. So someone just shows up with a big fucking box. Of nothing. So, of nothing. So, yeah, said. there's yeah. just yep. like a glass case with nothing in it. Oh, my God. You know how they do yeah. unboxing videos on YouTube all the time? Yeah. Can we oh. unbox vis- invisible penis? Oh, wow. It's so <laughs> oh, big. Yeah. 
Uh, but all right, you guys, I think ooh, we got a ch- we got a chupacabra penis coming in the mail <laughs> yeah, today. Really excited knows you for can't this see one. Those either. <laughs> you guys ready to open this one up? <laughs> oh my god, it smells oh, terrible. Oh, god. <laughs> Let's just say big <laughs> big foot does not have a big dick. So. <laughs> oh. Compensating for something with those feet, sassy. Uh, you know what they say, big feet, big socks. <laughs> <laughs> That is actually an old wife's. <laughs> I wear small socks. I, I love that. Oh, so you do have a big t- <laughs> <laughs> uh, They have the penis of an enriching beach mouse, which is a mouse a mouse that draws money from the sea That's to cool. enrich their it's owner. It's a sea money mouse. It's a sea money <laughs> mouse. That's cool. And they have his penis bone. Um, they have the... Penis of an elfin billy goat. Ooh. Then, then that elfin billy goat <laughs> blows a fiddle into the wind and then Bitcoin <laughs> falls from the sky. <laughs> it was found frozen at the edge of the Snaefer's Yorker Glacier by the son of the man that last saw it alive. <laughs> what? <laughs> I love the descriptions of the people. It was found by the son of the man who last saw it alive? <laughs> and all of these descriptions are pulled straight. These are word for word God. from the museum's website. My father was the last man to see <laughs> elf. And Billy go. What's your name? <laughs> huh? What? what? No? <laughs> uh, 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 I told you, I'm the son of the man who last saw it alive. That is my name. That's, That's my, my official name. name. It's my birth name. <laughs> son of the man who last saw it. Son of a bonjour. Son of a man who last saw me alive. <laughs> For the love of dick. For the love of dick, son of the man who last sat alive, you get in here, you get, get out of the rain. And you lick your spoons. Quit playing with that billy goat. Piece. No, that doorway is not going to sniff itself. <laughs> uh, they, have, they have the penis of Thorgir's bull. Oh. Which is the most famous of all? Sounds big. All yeah. Icelandic Wait, zombie Wait, let me guess. It, it, it's not. It, there's no guy named Thorgir here, is there? Well, no. there. Yeah, I guess because uh, we're gonna uh, like the, the is, like I said, it's the most famous of all Icelandic zombie ghost penises. Okay, and um, there's a lot. <laughs> Um, extremely active from the middle of the 18th century to the beginning of the 20th century in northern Iceland, presented to the museum by the descendants of Thorgir Jönsson, okay. the, the creator of the creature. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? It's Iceland. Anything think, goes. I, I, creator of the creature. It's been a while. I think I did look into Thorgir's bull. I think he was like a, a, a magic man, a magician, and he created He's a magic the bull. Man. And I think the bull like rapes ladies. Aww. I think he created the bull because he loved a lady. And she I didn't did, love him. I did look into the story, but it's been it's been months and the bull. so much <laughs> weed in between. Mm-hmm. All right, we so only have three res. more. We have three more, and then we're going to take a trip to the gift shop, you Yahoo! guys. Yahoo! <laughs> Gotta get a souvenir. <laughs> exactly. I'm going to get some of them little penis spoons. Um, if the penis of an elven ram found by Miss Hanold Thora, Han- Hanold Yeah, there's an Thora. H and then an N immediately. Yeah. And- no. Hanold Thora. No, Thora. Yeah, her niece donated. It was found on the slopes of the Schnaefer Schnurkers. <laughs> it was found on the slopes of the Schnaefer Schnurkers. Everything was found in the Schnaefer Schnurkers glacier. Um, they have the nasty, the penis of the nasty Hell ghost. yeah, he was nasty. Saw him last night. You uh, dirty, dirty whore. <laughs> ghost is a dirty whore. <laughs> nasty ghost of Schnaefio, a famous ghost of the early 17th century from the Western Fjords. After many nasty exploits, he was finally put down by his own father. Oh. Oh, young, young you're too nasty. Dorf, dorf, leaf, leaf, and... I will kill you, nasty ghost of Snaefjell. <laughs> Take your you I are am your father. <laughs> and the last imaginary penis they have is the corpse-eating cat of Thing Mule. Ah, uh, yes. You forget. <laughs> Shrunk testicles from the ill-famed cat that used to dig itself into the we church. We couldn't bite its dick. In Thing but we got its balls. <laughs> and eat corpses. I mean, it won't, wouldn't any cat technically be a corpse-eating corpse eating cat yes. if you corpse die in your house? Yeah. yeah, yeah, a cat will eat a cat. They'll just turn eat your face yeah. off. They'll eat your yeah. face off. Yeah. Uh, that's dark. Sorry. Um, okay. Gift so, shop. All right, let's go to the gift shop, everybody. Let's buy some gifts. <laughs> I'm putting down my packet. I'm not I reading. I got seven dollars, and I want some good penis sweat. Good luck. <laughs> because there's candy. The, uh, you know, the exchange rate from U.S. dollar to Iceland is. Mm. Yeah. Mm. All right. A little expensive. All right, I'm done reading. You guys take the gift shop. Welcome to the gift shop of the Icelandic Phallological Museum. Oh. Well, we have a book called The Shaven's Guide to Mythical Members of the Icelandic Phallological Museum. Mm. 
They have designer condoms with Ooh. wink wink nature pictures on them, like a geyser or an upward thrusting <laughs> rock formation. <laughs> if you catch my drift. <laughs> <laughs> I do catch your shaft. Mm. Others include tent, volcano, ice formation, and a hot spring in the Aurora Borealis. <laughs> <laughs> is that your dick or is that the Aurora Borealis? <laughs> happy to see you. It's my dick. No, it's <laughs> just my dick. It's just my dick. Billy Mays here. We have some aggressively thick penises shaped keychains. <laughs> <laughs> That's the perfect that is time exactly to what he would to say. Billy. Yeah, yeah. One in particular that is especially troubling, referred to as a Mr. Happy penis ring. Key ring. This is a pink plush penis with a yellow happy face, plastered at its head, wearing a black necktie with yellow happy faces and white boxes with yellow happy faces. <laughs> the penis has its gloved hand down its happy face boxes, indicating that it has either lost its wallet or it's jacking off. Oh my god. They got a magnet that says... It's all about dicks. It's all what about, else is it about dicks. They have penis-shaped pasta, but I'm sure any bachelorette party would turn up their noses at just how common that is. So, 2012. Something. <laughs> they have a penis <laughs> and vagina-shaped Christmas ornaments dressed in the vein of Santa <laughs> and his lady named Mr. and Mrs. Jingle, respectively. <laughs> We have a pink coffee mug with a giant dick for a handle. Useful. They got willy warmers. These are crotcheted dick and ball bags in the shape of your choice. A snake or an elephant. And they have little drawstrings at the top. I think it's pronounced crochet. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm Billy Mays, not you. <laughs> if you yell a Sorry. word, it's Sorry. automatically correct. Sorry, Billy. <laughs> I cringed when I saw the section in their gift shop titled Toys. They have a little wind-up jumping dicks, which I think we've all seen before. They have some plush penises. Penisaurus, which is, of course, is a dinosaur. That how a dinosaur, what a dinosaur would look like if it was just one big giant penis. And Scrotilia the Hun, which simply gets points for its creativity. Scrotilla this the is, Hun. as you'd imagine... A penis dressed up like a barbarian warrior. That's creative. i take one of those. And the disturbing return of Mr. Happy. Same outfit, same hand down his boxes, only now he's on his knees. Balls? <laughs> like in that way when you slide across the stage on your knees with your arm out. Oh, creative. Okay. Except it's a giant penis jacking himself <laughs> off as he slides across the hardwood floor in your living room. Jacking off... <laughs> Hi, Billy Mays here Jacking off what I have to assume Is a smaller version of himself Which in turn jacking off a smaller version Infinity Wow And that's it Man. Oh That my God. was our trip to the Icelandic Phallological It was amazing. Fun. It was fun, it was informative <laughs> Trap. Oh, It was a blast What are you guys, what? What guys going to get from the gift shop? Oh, oh. Uh, I want the book. There's a book about all the um, folklore penises that they have. I actually almost bought it. That would be it. fun. I, you can order it online. You can. I, I was going to get, get Strotilla the Hud. I, yeah. I, I love the coffee mug. You guys ball bags, but I, when I saw how expensive the exchange rate is from yeah. that, I was like, ooh, I love you guys, but I'm not buying you a $30 ball bag. I'll download the PDF. Thank yeah. you very much. He'll, he'll crush it at himself. I'll crush it. You yeah. a ball bag. You know what I'm buying from yeah. the gift shop? Huh. Nothing. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Hey, 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 I ain't getting no dick. So, do we know if Tom Mitchell is still around town? Yes, Tom would still be alive. He was he was in good health in 2011. I think it was like in 54 or so. So like, he I'd say he's still around. Did yeah. donate his dick? I don't. He didn't get it cut off, as far as I know. I okay. think he still got yeah. his dick. Okay. Pussy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a dick. Am I right? <laughs> Yeah, the know. boy who cried, I'll cut my dick off. <laughs> hey, hey, you know, Tom, Tom Mitchell, Mitchell, if you're out here, if you're out there and you're listening, you hit us up. One thing I will say is they do have a vagina in the gift shop, and he said this is not a vagina place, so. That's true. But 60% oh, yeah. of the museum's visitors are women. Yeah. But it's a set, And it, every penis needs oh, a home. It's a that's set. <laughs> yeah, it's a set. It's a every mad set. Every penis needs a home. 
It sounds nice. I keep mine in my pants. It sounds nice nice until a guy says it to you at the bar. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, baby. Penis needs a home. Can I put my Buick in your garage? (laughs) What? You buy me a Jaeger shot or did I just say that out loud? (laughs) (laughs) That's a good pickup line. Buy someone some Jaeg or some Jame. Oh, what? (laughs) (laughs) Hey, can I dock my boat in your. Docking oh, arena. <laughs> I forgot what it's fucking called. Uh, well, I don't. Oh. I don't know. I'm, I got nothing else to that say. That was very fun. Yeah, it was. It wasn't I, my favorite one that I ever did. I smiled a lot during. Evan that. kept his dick. In I his didn't even whip my dick pants. out no. this whole entire table. No, I was waiting, but nothing. Yeah, we thought today would be the day. It's actually invisible, but it's huge. <laughs> <laughs> And old. Yeah. Been <laughs> my dick's been at the whole time. Stinky. Hey, hey. <laughs> That's that stench. Oh, goodness. Uh, dick's well. got a little moss on it. Other than that, it's not that wrinkly yet. <laughs> a little mossy. A little swirly. A little mossy. Do you, have it, a, do you have ginger pubes? I just was thinking of like, you know, <laughs> you know the, the Benjamin Button movie? Yeah. Yeah. Good movie. So, like, how does the penis work in that? Like, oh. Oh. So oh, you extreme. start off with an old man wrinkly dick. Uh-huh. <laughs> so it starts off small, yeah. And then it gets bigger, and, and then, then it gets, gets small and, again. And then you go to a baby dick. Yeah. You die with a baby dick. Yeah. Well, you do anyway. I mean, it's just the circle of life. circle yeah. of yeah. dick. That's just... The circle of dick! <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that Who just wants a cir- to see my cock again? Isn't that just uh, a circle on. jerk. <laughs> no, Connor, you keep that thing zipped up. <laughs> Connor? Yeah, I'm just Connor now. Sean. Oh, Connor. Sean yeah. Connor. <laughs> Please call me Connor. This isn't Sean Connor. Right. Trying to fit in with the kids John these days. Connor. All right, Kevin. <laughs> Oh. Uh, well, everyone, I hope your dick gets sucked this weekend. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was Valentine's uh, Day yesterday. It was. Or weekday, depending on when you're listening. Or if you don't have a dick, go find one to suck. Yep. <laughs> or <laughs> one to put in a museum. Uh, or play a good day. game of Handjob Olympics. Yeah. Ah, oh, Handjob Olympics. Duck, duck, dick. Done. Done. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Done. <laughs> oh, that guy's not giving it up. <laughs> He Done. Be a soccer player one day. <laughs> he is. He is. <laughs> Had to sneak one more in there. I stole this shirt from Frank. Are you some kind of goddamn moron? <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Yay! Bye, 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 bye everybody. everybody. Bye. 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 Oh. Get a donut. Wait, 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 wait. wait. You can do follow another... us on social media. Oh yeah, we have social media and stuff. Mm. Hit yep. us up on Twitter, and Facebook, DM me for and Instagram, picks. and right. we are on YouTube now. You can just you just hit up my beeper. Beep, beep, beep. Ah, oh, shit, I gotta take and a And call me anytime for a dick appointment. Call me. Call me. Whip your dick Dicks. and put it in chance. Come with me and we'll be in a world of vaginal vagina, 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 Sorry for laughing. Thank you for listening. This has been a production of Penguin Cat Media. Oh, hell yeah. (laughs) (laughs) We take our coffee black like our soul.